Hi everyone, my name is Moni. And I'm Naveen from Before You Play. And today we're going to be continuing our Uwe Rosenberg series with At the Gates of Loyang. Yes, of course, designed by Uwe Rosenberg and published by TMG. This one came out in 2009, and this is the one that came out right after Le Havre, mm -hmm. just one year later. So it's pretty impressive that uh, he was able to put out these many designs back to back to back. So in 2007, we had Agricola. Mm -hmm. 2008, we had Le Havre. And then now, exactly like you said, a year later, we have At the Gates of Lao Yang. Mm -hmm. And so this is going to be semi a continuation of the farming theme. You know, in the rule book, it does mention that if you enjoy the plowing part of Agricola, this is entire game made for that. Yep. Kind of, because you are going to be farming, but really you're going to be fulfilling customers' orders in this game. Mm -hmm. Now, before we begin, we do want to mention that this game is uh, was published by a company called TMG, who is no longer producing games, from what we understand. And so with that being said, I think it might be difficult to get a hold of this game. Yes, maybe down the road, maybe somebody the else road. will pick it up. But as of right now, uh, we don't know who exactly is distributing this game. So just keep that in mind. Otherwise, as per usual, we are going to be starting with a teach of the game, then go into a two-player playthrough, and then we'll discuss our thoughts at the very end. And so if you are interested in jumping around, we'll include timestamps in the description below. Now, if you do want to follow along on all the other videos that we've done in this Uwe Rosenberg series, there will be a playlist up here that you can check out all the different videos that we've done and all the videos that are coming. And if you do want to check out the rest of these videos, please consider subscribing. And with that, we are ready to begin. So if you please direct your attention to the center of the table, we're all set up here for our two-player game of At the Gates of Loyang. Mm -hmm. So welcome to our respective fields. Yep. <laughs> you know, just kind of give you the lay of the land, each player has their own uh, tea board, and that is what this game is primarily going to be focused on, our player areas, because there is no main board. Right. The game comes with a host of different types of vegetables, which we are going to be planting in order to trade at various market stalls, and of course, to fulfill the various customers' orders. And the whole purpose of this is just so we can earn money in order to buy our way through the path of prosperity. Because at the end of nine rounds, it's going to be whoever is furthest along this path is going to be the winner. Mm -hmm. Now, each player starts with their own home field, and that's what this is over here. At the start of the game, we are going to do a little bit of setup, which we'll talk about during the playthrough. But we're basically going to each start with a vegetable that comes populated onto our home field. Yeah, it's going to be one of these three, either the wheat, the pumpkin, or the uh, turnips. And so, like I said, the game is played over the course of nine rounds. And each round consists of three different phases. And the gameplay is going to be consistent primarily of cards, because mm -hmm. it's pretty much a card game. At the start of each round, we're going to have what's called the harvest phase. The first thing that happens is you flip over the topmost card in your private field deck. And this deck is consistent of uh, eight cards. Everybody has the exact same distribution, but mm -hmm. different order of cards will come out because yes. we shuffle that. Mm -hmm. And uh, each card is going to have anywhere from three to six plots. And also, just so you know how to read a, a field card, regardless of whether it's a private field or a common field, which mm -hmm. you'll see, at the very, very top of the card, it shows you which types of vegetables you're allowed to plant um, on this card. The lower the number of plots, the more types of vegetables you're able to plant, as you can see uh, by comparison. Mm -hmm. And so at the start of the, the, the round, you just turn over the topmost card so that you have more fields. This is also going to be the game timer. Then each player plucks off one vegetable from each field that has vegetables on it and places it in their cart. So this cart over here is uh, two different things, really. There's a cart at the bottom right hand corner that just holds onto all of your vegetables to use for the round. Mm -hmm. And then at the very end of the round, we're going to place any unused vegetables into our uh, storage, which is only going to hold one at the start of the game, but you'll have the opportunity to upgrade it so that it can hold four. But we will talk about that later. And once all players are done, then we move on to what's called the card phase, where players will be dealt four cards from the main action card deck. Mm -hmm. Then starting with the first player and proceeding clockwise, we're going to go into this kind of round robin style uh, selection process, where players are going to be taking turns playing cards from their hand into the courtyard as sort of a um, offering area. Mm -hmm. Starting with the second player onward, you can either choose to do the same thing, play a card from your hand into the courtyard, mm -hmm. or you can drop out of this phase mm -hmm. by keeping one card from your hand and taking taking one card from the courtyard. So by the end of this phase, each player should have two action cards that they gain during this round to be able to utilize in the next phase. Mm -hmm. Since I went first and I played this card, then it would be Naveen's turn, and he can choose to either take this card as well as keep a card from his hand, or he can play a card down into the courtyard. If he were to drop out for the phase, then the rest of his hand would go into the courtyard for me to choose from. Mm -hmm. If you are the only person left in this phase, then you are required to drop out and choose your two cards. Yep. And once you've selected your two action cards for the round, then you place them immediately in their corresponding area. There are four different types of cards in the game. There are market stalls, which are used to trade vegetables at, and they go up here in the upper left-hand corner. 
There are helpers, which all do various things, and you can use them in various uh, parts of the round, which we'll probably discuss as we play the game. Yeah, there's text on them that kind of tell you exactly how they function. Mm -hmm. And they go at the bottom left-hand corner. And there are two different types of customers. We have regular customers, which are blue, and there are casual customers, which have a red background. And they get placed in these two areas, respectively. And so once the card phase is done, then we move on to the third phase, which is basically taking all your actions. And so starting with the first player, there are eight different types of actions that you can take during the round. Mm -hmm. We're gonna go over them briefly, but just so you know, you can take as many of these actions, with the exception of one, as you want, and as many times as you want before you end your turn. When it's your turn, you take all of your actions. When you're completely done, then it moves on to the next person. Mm -hmm. It operates a little bit differently in higher player count because whoever is the uh, last person to drop out of the card phase will actually get the first player token right. and they're the ones who get to go first in the action phase. In a four player game, there's a, a sort of a simultaneous play where two people get paired up and they both take their action at the same time and vice versa. Mm -hmm. So let's just briefly talk about these eight different actions because they're fairly simple. The first type of action you can take is you can sow a field. And that is essentially taking a vegetable from your cart and placing it into an empty field. So if I wanted to, I could sow this grain, I would place it in the middle of this uh, field over here, and then all of the other spots would get populated with the same type of vegetable from the supply. So that now I can continue to harvest one of these vegetables per round mm -hmm. until the, the field is completely empty. Not very diversified there, but no. it's an example. <laughs> Right. Okay, so I didn't want to sow another type of grain, and I actually wanted to sow a different vegetable that I don't have. The next type of action allows you to buy from the shop in front of you. And so there are these tiny uh, numbers here in the middle, and that basically tells you the amount that you have to pay to buy a vegetable and the amount that you get for selling a vegetable back to the store. Mm -hmm. And the exchange rate is really bad. <laughs> yeah, the number on the left is what yes. you purchased. The number on the right, which is less than the purchase price, is on the right. Yes. So if I wanted to, I could buy from the store for one action. Say I could buy a pumpkin for four coins, and then I could take that first action to now sow this pumpkin into that field if I wanted to. You might want to do the leak. Yes, it would be ideal for me to do the leak because that's what we have over here, but it's also pricier. It is six coins versus four. By the same token, you know, selling back to the store is the third type of action. And for that, all you have to know is you need to have an open space in order to sell back to the store. So right now I could not sell back any of these three vegetable types in the middle here because all their spots are filled. The fourth type of action has to do with your market stalls. So any of these orange background cards are tradable market stalls, which represent people who are bringing their vegetables to you mm -hmm. so that you can trade with them. And so whenever you place a new market stall in your play area, you're actually supposed to fill it with the vegetables shown. The bowls underneath each vegetable represent how many vegetables you have to turn in in order to get that vegetable. So if I really wanted this leak, just like Naveen was saying, so that I could try to fulfill um, this customer's orders, all I need to do is trade in one vegetable because there's only one bowl showing, which yeah. is actually a really good exchange rate because I could take this lowly grain, trade that into the supply to take this leak, which I now have so that I could plant, mm -hmm. right, or sow. And again, you're taking as many of these actions as possible, so you're trying to be as efficient as possible. That's right. Some of these market stalls do not have this beautiful exchange rate. Some of them require uh, two vegetables, which you'll see as we play the game. Mm -hmm. But it's also good to note that these cards are going to stay in your tableau until they're completely empty. I also want to note that you can trade the same type of vegetable. So if I really just wanted to get this card out of my life, yep. I could trade in a wheat to take the wheat or a grain, yep. I suppose. Like I was mentioning earlier, we also have helpers, which are going to do various things. And just as an example, this is a market crier, and it says that you can refill all of your market stalls with vegetables, or you can sell one to three vegetables from your market stalls to your shop. And so as you can see, these are all going to do various things. We'll discuss them all during the playthrough, but uh, one of the actions is possibly uh, utilizing your helper. They're also one-time use. Yes. Once you utilize their services, they go away. They get so discarded. The, discard the deck. Yeah. The next two actions have to do with serving your customers. And so this is a large part of the game, as you can probably already tell. It's how you make your money. There are two main types of customers. There are regular customers and casual customers. Whenever you acquire a regular customer card, you have to take a satisfaction token from the supply and place it on the card itself. And they all come blue side face up. And the significance of this is as soon as you place a regular customer card in your tableau, that action round, you are required to serve that customer. And you have to serve that customer every single round until their needs are completely met. So in this example, this customer wants one grain and one leak. And so as you can see, I do not have a grain and a leak. If I had enough money, I could purchase a grain so that I could fill this uh, customer's orders and get myself five coins. But if I'm unable to do that during this round, then what happens is this token gets flipped to its red side and I get a pass for the round. 
Starting with the next round, if I'm still unable to meet this customer's demands, then I have to pay two coins. I basically have to pay two coins every single round I'm unable to fulfill this order. Yeah, and those tokens that are flipped up, they never go back to the blue side. Yes. Maybe there might be something that allows you to, maybe a helper, mm -hmm. but standard base game, no. But if you're able to get kind of like a, a harvesting engine going that provides the leak and the grain every single round, mm -hmm. then that is a pretty lucrative uh, future for you, right? Casual customers, on the other hand, are casual. Uh, you can fulfill them at any round you wish. They're not going to penalize you at all, but you have to uh, turn in all three vegetables at the same time. Yes. You cannot piecemeal this order. Right. Yeah, and you can't just put the leeks in round one and then the, the bean in round two. Exactly. It all has to go at once. Mm -hmm. However, the amount of money that you get is going to vary depending on how many regular customers you have. So each casual customer has their own base amount of money that they're willing to provide. So for this customer, it's going to be 11 coins. When I fulfill their order, if I have more regular customers at the time than casual customers, I'm going to get a modifier of an additional two coins. And thematically, the reason why is because their thinking is, hey, you have so many regular customers, but you're still able to fulfill my order. I'm going to give you a little bit more money. And the reverse is true. If you have more casual customers than regular customers, it's going to be minus two coins because they're like, what are you doing? Why, are you, uh, why aren't you fulfilling the needs of your regular customers? Right? Mm -hmm. And so when it comes to casual customers, the timing of when you are prepared to fulfill their order is very important. And finally, the last type of action is the only action that you can only perform once per round, and that is gaining a two pack of cards. Mm -hmm. This is an action that you want to take if you really just need additional cards, if you're looking for something specific, because it allows you to draw two cards from the deck. However, you have to pay to do this. And the amount of money that you pay is dependent on how many cards that you have on the left side of your of your tea board. Mm -hmm. So that's going to be with the market stalls and the helpers. Whichever between the two you have more of is the amount of money that you pay. So right now I just have one and one. So I'm going to pay one coin in order to take this action. Yeah. So if you had a second helper or a second market stall, then you'd have to pay two coins to take this action. Yes. And of course, if you have neither, then it's free. Free. Yep. And so taking this action lets you draw two cards from the deck. You just place them face up. Oh wow! I have two market stalls. Yeah. See, this is that terrible exchange. <laughs> What I was yeah. talking about. Yeah. And then of these two cards, you can choose to keep any number of them. You can mm -hmm. also choose to not take any of them if you wanted to, because there are also some cards that provide uh, common fields like this. And these, in order for you to acquire them, they're nice because they're additional fields for you to sew on, yep. but they cost money. You have to pay two coins in order to, to take these. And that money you have to pay immediately. Before we continue, I just want to note that if at any time you cannot pay for something or if you just need additional money for some reason, you can always take out a loan, which will immediately get you five coins, but it's going to come at a hefty price, which we will talk about um, in a second. And if you don't want to take out a loan, but you really need money, you can also take the action to sell back vegetables to your store at any time. And if I want to keep both, by the way, you can't put both of them um, in play immediately. You have to stack one on top of the other. They're both market stalls, so it's not a very good example. But say I had uh, two different types of cards and I were to choose to put the market stall on top, then both cards would go in the market stall area and the market stall is the only one that I have access to. Mm -hmm. Once this card goes away, now the bottom card becomes active. You place it in its proper spot and then you can use it accordingly. Mm -hmm. And that's it. Those are all the eight different types of actions. It sounds like a lot, but it's really intuitive as you mm -hmm. kind of get into it. At the very end of the round, you're going to do some end of round stuff, which is the most important part of the game. The first thing that happens is you store any additional vegetables that you did not utilize into your storage area. Like I was saying at the beginning of the teach, at the start of the game, you only have space for one vegetable. Uh, during this phase, you can pay two coins to flip the card over to its opposite side, and it now stores four. Permanently. Permanently. Mm -hmm. Then each player has the opportunity to pay money to go up their prosperity track. The whole point of doing this whole thing. Yes, yeah. this is the whole point of the entire game. Mm -hmm. And so the very first step that you take per round only costs one coin. So even if you're up here at 10, in order to get to 11, you just pay one coin. Any further steps that you take during that round is going to cost whatever the printed value is on that step. Mm -hmm. So if I was at 10, I could pay one coin to move to 11. And then if I wanted to move to 12, I have to pay 12 coins. Yeah. So the further and further you progress into the game, the more expensive this is going to get. And that is it for the round. At the end of nine rounds, the game will end. For every loan that mm -hmm. you've taken out, you're going to move back a step on this prosperity track. Once that's done, then whoever is furthest on the prosperity track is going to be the winner. If there's a tie, yep. which is completely possible, then it's going to be whoever has the most money left over is going to be the winner. Makes sense. And that's pretty much how you play the game. We're just going to get set up and then get started with our playthrough. Okay, so we have reset the game. We just have to figure out who goes first. We both have 10 coins each. Mm -hmm. You want to go uh, even the odds? Sure. What do you want? 
evens. Okay. One, two, three. All right. All right. Me. Naveen's going to go first. And so uh, Naveen gets to choose which vegetable he's going to sow first. And so this is only relevant really in um, higher player accounts, but no more than two players can do can sow the same vegetable. Right. And your options are going to be uh, grain, pumpkin, or turnip, as evidenced by the picture. At the well, um, I'm just going to go cheapy. I'm yeah. Gonna, I'm going to give up three coins and I'm going to take grain and good luck to me. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I was thinking the same thing. Are you going to do the same thing? I am. Fortunately, Ooh. that's legal or else I would have been, uh, I would have been forced. All right. To, and we're to competing do over the same cards. Pumpkin or something. <laughs> And we're all set up. Yep. So same vegetable, same amount of money. Everything is equal footing here. All right. Um, Naveen is going to go first. And uh, as a reminder, this is a total of nine rounds. And whoever is furthest along on the prosperity track at the end of the game is a winner. Mm -hmm. So ready for round one? Yeah, let's do it. So we got the okay. harvest phase. Mm -hmm. All right. So I'm going to flip over the next one. Oh, okay. I got my sixer. Okay, got my fiver. Okay. And then you're going to pull down one of your produce. My vegetable. <laughs> my grain. Grain. Wheat. Uh, go straight into your cart. Mm -hmm. All right. So that's it. Harvest phase is real simple, real easy. Yep. So we're going to go into this distribution kind of card phase. Card phase. I do want to note that there is a two-player variant. So we're going to be discussing that in a second. And also, we didn't discuss this in the teach, but whenever you discard cards, they actually go into a universe discard pile and then right before this phase like literally right before you distribute cards is when we shuffle the entire deck together again mm -hmm. and this is significant because the helpers a lot of them are unique and so if ever you utilize one it gets discarded it you'll have the chance of getting it back again right all right so Naveen is going to go first and he's <laughs> going to start by playing a card to the courtyard and so the yeah. way that the two-player variant works is just so that we have the opportunity to see more cards before anybody's turn you have the option of drawing the top card from the, the main action deck and putting it into the courtyard just so um you know you have more options to choose from mm -hmm. okay so i am not going to flip over a card because i have no option of getting it so if it's something super sweet i don't want to expose it <laughs> so <laughs> that's fair actually yeah. all right so i am going to give up uh, this foreman over here it's a helper and it says uh take any one helper immediately after it is placed in the discard pile oh so nice it's very early i'm not going to deal with it right now but I feel like that's a great helper for when you see somebody having a helper that you really like, that's right? That's why it's in my starting hand. I was like, ah, I don't know. All right. Yeah. Well, I'm going to I'm going to go ahead and play a card as well. But okay. first, I'm going to draw from the do Okay, another so helper. we have the con man. <laughs> it says, exchange this helper for a helper belonging to another player who has already completed his action phase for this round. Oh, dirty. Ah, so... That one messes with people. It's like a hot potato of stealing helpers. Yeah. <laughs> Terrible. Mm -hmm. So, okay, so then I'm going to play a card from my hand, and I think I will play a, a helper as well. So this is the messenger boy, and it says you can <laughs> deliver twice to any or each of your regular customers in this action phase. Okay. Lots so that's, of helpers right now, huh? We're in the helper uh, the helper zone for some reason. All right. I, I'm going to move on. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to flip one over. Okay. Okay, we have a field. Uh, nice. So this one's going to cost, if anybody wants this in the future, it's going to cost two right away. Yep. Uh, and then you can, uh, it's basically this field right here. Right. So you can plant anything up to cabbage. Nice. Hmm. That's, that's not, not bad. bad. <laughs> Just it costs some early uh, early money. That's it, the part it, that's kind of bad. It does, yeah. I'm going to discard this helper, the merchant. Okay. It's another helper. What is going on? <laughs> yeah, too so, much. You may buy for one coin, one of any vegetable that you must deliver to at least twice to your regular customers in this round. Okay, so if you have uh, a vegetable showing in your regular customers that you have to deliver at least two Plus, of, yeah. then you can buy for one coin. It's not the right time to have that helper. It's not. I'm a little bit... Uh, a little discouraged so far? A little bit. <laughs> yeah. Well, I, I might I might drop out, but before I do, let's see what the, the next card is. Another what? helper. The subsistence farmer. Take one vegetable from a field belonging to another player and pay the owner one coin. But the field has to have at least uh, four vegetable tokens and may not be the home the field. Home field. Oh, that's great. That's awesome. That's a good one to get early. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Leave me alone. Take Naveen's vegetables. My hard work for a coin? Um, I think I might drop out. I'm dropping out. So, as a reminder, wow. when you drop out, you're taking two cards. You're keeping one from your hand, so I'm okay. going to keep this one. And then I'm going to take, um, I'm going to hire the subsistence farmer. And then the rest of my hand will go into the courtyard for Naveen to choose mm. from. So we have a regular customer, finally, <laughs> who wants um, cabbage and leek. And then the official, and the official says, in this action phase, the buy a two-pack action is free for you. And that would have been fantastic, although it was a little bit early. early. And it felt like yeah. I would, like, one coin versus, right, or versus get something nothing. else. Yeah. And so I'm going to hold on to the subsistence farmer, of course. And then I have a regular customer as well who wants grain and pumpkin. So 
I need, I need to get pumpkin going is what that means. Interesting. And wow. now that uh, you're the only one left, this is your final turn. You have to you have So, to pick yeah, up. let's go ahead and expose another. <laughs> okay, so we have the shopper. It's buy one vegetable from the supply, not from the shop, so it's from one of these. Mm -hmm. uh, the vegetable costs two less than it would from the shop. Ooh, that's, that's not bad. I mean, helpers early on is totally fine because well, they are very, very powerful. Mm -hmm. It just, they increase the cost for you to take a two pack. They do, oh wow. I don't want any of these help. I mean, I want the helpers, but it's just so early that I have no idea. And I think I want to get some uh, some customers so I can make some income in the future. So I'm going to uh, keep this card and I'm going to take this oh. extra field here. So by me taking this extra field, uh, it's going to cost me two right away. Okay. So this one too. And then I have a regular customer who is going to come with a little uh, token. Oh, yes. Uh, this is the one that I'm tossing back that I'm not keeping. So that's all in the discard file. Yes, these are all discarded um, out for the round. Yes. Wow. Okay, so now this customer is going to want for the next four rounds <laughs> turnips wow. and cabbage, of which I did not invest in uh, turnips earlier. Right. But I do have the ability to plant turnips and cabbage. I'm probably going to have to take a loan at some point <laughs> right now. Yeah, that is a well i'm hoping that you are setting yourself up for a long life of prosperity right yeah. <laughs> so you get you get to start player token i, I do yeah and uh, you're going <clears throat> to now lead us into the next phase so and again i get the start player token because i was the last person to drop out in mm -hmm. this phase the card phase so now you're going to be taking as many actions as you'd like well there's no market stalls and i have this wheat that's kind of doing nothing for me right now so uh <laughs> <laughs> I know this person's going to be angry with me, but I think I'm, I'm going to take a loan here. Watch. So, okay. Well, you can take a two-pack right now. For free. For free. If, so, so, before you make any, like, uh, Brash decisions. <laughs> decisions, just yes. see what you got there. Thank you for doing that, because you're right. So, because I have no cards here, yes. um, I, I don't have to do any uh, payments. So, I'm yeah. going to take a look at these so two. no risk. Okay, what do we got here? Uh, we have a tenant farmer. It says pay three bucks to choose one field from your pile of private fields Okay. Uh, without changing the order. So I can basically look take for it, what you want. look for it, and then also use the memory to be like, oh, I've seen where they are, because then you don't uh, shuffle it. Or I can place one empty field uh, from your field area that has not been sown under the pile, so I can basically toss it underneath. If I don't okay. like something, I can kind of move it around. Right. Mm. Or a casual customer. This person's going to want the things that this person's going to kind of want. Right. Plus leaks. Right. All right. I will I will say no to this person okay. altogether. Um, and then I'm going to take this one and place them there. Nice. So I can't take that action again because I would have loved to take it for free again. <laughs> uh, all right. So for the first five bucks, here we go. With all my money, I'm going to sow. And I know Monique is a little sniper over here that I don't like. <laughs> But uh, yeah, I'm going to sew uh, turnips, Ooh. so we're going to put that there. We are getting a turnip. One, <laughs> Over here. I don't know if I if I quite want uh, to get a turnip. Yeah, we'll that's that's what's kind of nice. You don't want, really want them. I mean, I might pay a coin to get your grain. You might pay a coin to get my grain. You're not allowed to get from the home field. That's what the ah, card says. Yeah. Ah, you read, <laughs> you read the card. I did, <laughs> yeah. All right, that's fair. All right, I'm going to take a loan. So the loan, and, and then I'm taking this. Yep. This is going to be uh, an anchor to me uh, for the rest of the game. <laughs> There's uh, no way to pay those back, unfortunately. And then the money is going to go away because oh, okay. I'm going to plant cabbage. It costs five also. So now I at least have everything funneling in to this uh, going forward, yeah. which is great. You are setting yourself up for sure because this is going to be, I mean, you're going to have and then some, right? So uh, this is yeah. going to give you a total of like... A good amount of money, I think. 26? 26 uh, coins? Yeah, 5 plus 6 plus 7 plus 8. I, I didn't do the math. but That's awesome. And I will I will be done. That's going to be it for me. Okay. I am not going to sell this back for the coin because at any time, if I need to, I can. Yes, yeah. yeah. There's really no reason to have to do that right now. Right. Um, the satisfaction token, though, <laughs> you did not satisfy I did your not, customers. No, order. not yet. This gentleman will be very satisfied going forward. Yes. Uh, next round, if you're unable to to deliver, then it's going to cost two coins. It'll be a problem, yeah. So, all right. So now, now to me, um, I am going to start actually by utilizing the help of the subsistence farmer because I <laughs> really because I want to take Jeez. a two pack for free. Yeah. Because right now I have to pay a coin, so I might as well. Naveen has some new <laughs> plants over there. I just don't know which one I will need between the cabbage and the turnip. Did That's you pay, the chance. You gotta pay me now. Maybe? I do have to pay you. 
It's funny because it's not free because you're using him to pay me. But at least I get something and I <laughs> yeah. can store that thing. I'm hoping, I really want to find a market stall. That's what I truly can want. You, store, you, you cannot store it. Yeah, I know. If all else fails, I'm going to have to sell back the, <laughs> the grain. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I'm going to pay you, Naveen. I'll take it. And I will invest. Oh my gosh, what did we see more of already? Let's just go cabbage. Literally no reason, but just to... Um, for the heck of it. Just for... <laughs> Just to have something, okay? <laughs> okay. All right, so this is going to get discarded, and then... It's, it's funny because your your field can't even uh, plant it. Oh, wait! Yes! Yeah, yes. go ahead. Do you mind? No, <laughs> I understand. Thank you. It makes way more sense because the current field she has... I totally forgot. My, my field can't even... I, if, I, if I wanted to, I couldn't plant that 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 uh cabbage mm -hmm. because i it's only going to be grain pumpkin or turnip right okay i still get the coin though you yeah. still get the coin thank you mm -hmm. okay so now i'm going to take a two pack because i might as well uh, wait and see what i get it's free yep uh, before i make any other decisions Ha -ha. oh i've got market a market stall. stall oh interesting and i can look at this casual customer market stall is not a good looking market stall so just again to, to read how this market stall works in order to get to trade out for one leek or one cabbage, you'd have to put two resources. Yeah. Uh, the turnip is one for one, but it's a two for one trade here. So not, not a the good, that's best a, exchange out there. Yeah, that's that's actually a pretty bad one. I'm going to I'm going to take the casual customer sure. and then discard this card. Also, I realize that my regular customer is missing a satisfaction token, mm -hmm. which I might as well flip over to its red side because we Unless know. you buy pumpkin. You can literally buy pumpkin and then satisfy it, but oh you're not gosh. building. Okay, so there's nothing that we can do about it now. This is this is what we have for the round. So mm -hmm. I am going to have to do um, some not ideal things. I'm going to sell back my mm -hmm. grain to the store. It's going to gain me one coin. And then I'm going to buy a pumpkin. So that's five. I get back one. Okay. And Ooh, just enough money. Huh? Purchasing the pumpkin so that I can sew it on this card, which means I'm going to have this turnip left over for the future. That's going to be my just-in-case turnip. Let me help you out with some pumpkins. I, oh, thank you. There you go. I'm not going to need it uh, right now, but maybe I'll need one in the future. Yeah. So I was not, I was unable to fulfill uh, my regular customers' orders. Needs, so yeah. they are a little bit upset, but hopefully um, in I can due make time, it up to them. Yeah. They'll be okay. Yeah. <laughs> and that's it. That is the, that's the end of my turn. I'm going to end it right there. So okay. we're going to move on to the end of round stuff. Mm -hmm. We store our vegetables. Right now, our storehouse yes. can only hold one, one. Yep. unless you want to pay two coins, flip it over, and then you hold four. <laughs> no. And then we can pay our way up this track of prosperity. So first step costs one coin, so I'm going to do that. Yeah, same. One so, coin. I'm just going to toss it over here. Oh my gosh, I'm one coin short. So maybe it might have been a mistake uh, taking the turnip from Naveen. At least you took away from this customer, because this is going to require one, two, three, four. You take the fifth one that's going to be required uh, for that. Okay. Yeah. So maybe it was worth it in the you end. You know what you're doing. You did <laughs> No, I didn't know. <laughs> I really didn't know. Yeah. All right, that's the end of the first round. So we move on to the second round, uh, harvest phase. Okay. So go ahead and flip over your next yeah, field. Flip and... Ooh, I've got my three. Ooh, my six. Oh, wow. This has a, a lot of planting power. Not many spaces. Oh. And then I'm going to go ahead and pluck these off. Veggies come into me. So got some got some vegetables. Yeah, we. I need a uh, market stall. Okay. All right. There we go. So then uh, we're going to go into the card phase. We mm, shuffle these shuffles all in. Back in, yeah. So everything that we just saw that we discarded has the opportunity to be seen again. That's right. Okay, so a new set of four cards with those discarded cards back in. Nice. And you have your four. I have my four. Thank you. You are going first. Uh, me again. again. Okay. Ooh. Mm. Gosh, you start seeing customers go back into your head and you're thinking, I don't know if I can fulfill these customers. Mm. Okay, uh, so I am not going to flip over, but I will put out this regular customer that's Pumpkin Bean. Oh, okay. Pumpkin Bean. Yep, definitely not taking that. <laughs> okay. um, so I'm going to go ahead and take a, a turn. I'm going to flip over this card. Wow, a double wheat. we got a lot of wheat uh, going on there, though. I can't handle double wheat. No. So then I'm going to I'm going to go ahead and play this into the courtyard. This is a casual customer. Double wheat and bean, Naveen. Double wheat and What do you think about bean. that? Oh, wow. I That double wheat is looking real good because look at this farm that I have right here. I could I could do Yeah, it. the double wheat is nice for you. I, I have the double wheat that it needs right now. Oh my gosh. Why did it? This is the end. <laughs> I shouldn't have played that one. And then with the double wheat, I can then use the money to then oh re -sow my gosh. and then just have it going. I am in trouble. Take the double I, wheat. I, I think I have to take the double wheat here. Yeah. So, uh, okay, I will be dropping out. Yeah. So I am going to keep this card. Just take it. 
uh, which is going to be going over there. So now we have our first market stall. These are going to be the two that are going to go face up, and I will take this regular customer. Nice. And these now become yours. There you go. Let me uh, load this up with... That is a bad exchange for Leek. Yeah, I don't really like it, but it is what it is. All right, what to do? Oh, I could plant more. Okay. You could, yeah. I'm going to draw, draw the top card over here. Since okay. I have the dropout now, we have the trader. Trade yeah. in one vegetable at another player's market stall. So I can <laughs> swipe something from Naveen. And since I have to drop out, I'm going to keep this card in my hand. Okay. This is a casual customer. Mm -hmm. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to buy this field. Even though I don't really have <laughs> more than one thing to plant. Mm. Maybe I won't take the field. Okay. <laughs> That's going to be all my money. Yeah. And I don't know if I'm going to have an extra uh, vegetable. It's hard because you're going to take it and you're going to want to plant with it. But you don't know exactly what to plant yes because there's yeah. no customers yeah. that i don't yeah i don't have customers and it, it, yeah we're not gonna do it i'm just gonna i'm gonna be forced to take another casual customer actually okay. so i might as well just take this one yeah right you have I'm some probably, of those things lined up probably gonna plant my turnips mm -hmm. and these get discarded that's that. that's that yeah yeah i did not i did not want to do this for sure yeah so uh since i dropped out last i get the first player yep. token yep. now yep. and i'm gonna go, gonna go ahead and start our actions phase and of course i'm going to start by taking two a two-pack. All right, here's your... Oh, field. It's free. <laughs> oh. And uh, there. Ah, I want a market stall. That is interesting. Oh, my gosh. Okay, I'm not going to take... I'm not going to keep any None. of these. No, I have okay. way too many casual customers yeah. right now. So, ugh, okay. A this sweet is... regular customer would have been perfect for you, right? Yes. Or a helper that made sense. Yes, yeah. I would have taken out a loan for a, a sweet regular customer, mm -hmm. but... Alas, all right. My <laughs> turn is going to be really simple then. Okay. I'm going to deliver uh, these two goods here. For how much? For four coins. Okay. So four coins. And then, uh, you know, just so we can, it's a little bit easier for us to keep track of what round we fulfill these in, I'm going to place this on top here to show okay. that that's been done for this round. Like it. Otherwise, that's it. <laughs> because, well, I have how much? I have four, six. So you know you're going to want to do one plus four, right? So you want to keep five at least. Mm hmm which is only one coin, really. Mm -hmm. And I don't really have anything to do with that. So I'm just going to plant this. I'm going to plant that turnip so that I can at least uh, gain some turnip every every round for three rounds. And that's me. I'm done. Okay. All right. So uh, let's go ahead and get the money while I can. So we're going to put this one down here and here. Mm -hmm. So that's going to be five. And I will do the same strategy that you did a tip. There you go. Okay. That's five coming. And then uh, I think I'm going to pull these two down here. So this okay. person's satisfied right away. Wow. They That's didn't four. even get angry. No. Um, <laughs> this is a perfect time for uh, you to fulfill your casual customers. You know what? I unfortunately can't right now, though, because <laughs> they're all... I, I mean, soon. soon. <laughs> you have basically three more rounds. I know. To do it. Okay, so I need to make sure that I can fulfill this every single time. I have one of them coming from here, so I'm going to spend three to buy wheat. Okay. Right. And heart our uh, sow it here. So now I have six wheat total, okay. and Very hopefully good. I can uh, keep the train rolling. The last thing I think I want to do is pay one coin because I have one card here for yep. a two pack. All right, come on, something Let's good. Let's see what you get. A stall. No, that was my stall. <laughs> and the trader. Okay, so it says uh, trade in one vegetable at another player's market stall. Yeah. If you do this, in oh, that's yeah, the same that's one, one that I that I had earlier. So you can trade at my. Non-existent market stall. Do I want this? Do I care about this? And you want to be cautious about just willy-nilly taking the market stalls because yes. they do not leave your board until all vegetables have been paid off. I know. It's a problem. Which makes two packs. More expensive. Right. I will say no. Unfortunately, I lost a buck. That's okay. too bad because I really wanted it. So that's going to be it. That's That's me. All right, that is the end of that's the end of the second round, really. So let's go ahead and store your vegetables if you have any left. No, nothing. Neither of us do, and put these back. Sure. And then now we can pay. So I'm going to pay. Let's see. It's going to be one coin for the that step, and then I could pay four four more for the next. Cool. I don't have enough money for the five. Okay, so mine is a total of five, so it's one plus four, and that's my five. Nice. Yeah, but I do right. have that loan that's holding me back by one, and you have not taken out a loan. Very good. I. I might. Okay. I, I have so far. I've <laughs> always taken that alone. So. Yeah. All right. So we're moving on to the third round, starting with the harvest phase. Ready? Yeah. Let's do it. All Come right. On. I have. I've got my four. You got my four as I, well. I still. I cannot plant a leak. I kind of wasted my opportunity on that card. So yeah. Maybe I'm out of the leaks business. Yep. So go ahead and strip your vegetables. Come on down. Place them in your cart. 
and then we are gonna go into the card phase once cool. again. So let's get these shuffled. Yeah. yeah. Please get us some regular customers, Naveen. Re uh, uh, that is what know, I need. I got some satisfied regular customer. I don't know if I can handle a third. We got a fourth, Naveen, to take something. I, I want a market stall that's gonna make my life easy. Or a helper or something Two like bowl that. Two market stalls. I don't know what I want, to be honest, but <laughs> we're shuffled. All right, so you're first player, so I'll deal to you first. Thank you. Okay, so good luck. Hopefully you find something. Thank you. I have no money to show for me. Okay. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Got a little surprise for you. I'm gonna play this one first. first. So I'm not gonna, I'm gonna do the thing that you've been doing and not gonna pull a card, but I'm going to give you this. It is a <laughs> horrible exchange amazing. at a market stall. <laughs> amazing, amazing. Lots of uh, two, bull, two bull prices there. All right, so you're you're not happy with that one. Okay, so I'm gonna flip one over. Let's take okay. a look. Oh, here we go. Bean, oh, he, there, I think this person's come out before. That's the Maybe. shuffle for you. So bean, bean and pumpkin. Yeah. I'm thinking it's loan time. Is it loan time? Maybe. All right, I'm gonna discard the trader. That's that same one we keep talking about. You can trade from somebody else's stall for one vegetable for one. All right, let's see what we got. Uh, the squire. So during the card phase, which is what we're doing now, yep. instead of taking one card from your hand and one from the courtyard, you can take one card from your hand and up to three from the courtyard. Yeah, that one is pretty good. I've used it before in the past. It, it's nice when there's a lot of things laid out. Yeah, that is a nice one. Mm -hmm. Do I want to take it is the question. All right, I'm not going to drop out quite yet. I'm just going to go ahead and play a card now. And yeah. I'm going to play a casual uh, customer. And they want... Wheat, cabbage, and leeks. Does that interest Ooh. you? It kind of does interest me a little bit, but uh, I don't think I'm going to get it done. <laughs> so, <laughs> all right, let's flip one up. Okay. What do we got? The saleswoman. Turn all of your own satisfaction margins to the blue side. So this is kind of what I was alluding to. So if you have anybody that's like really mad, you can just whoop, to the blue side. Yeah, all of them? Turn yep. all of them. Yep. Oh, that's nice. Or during the current action phase, your casual customers pay the bonus plus two, uh, <gasps> no matter what the whole ratio is here. Oh my gosh. Pretty nice. Yeah, that's, that's, really nice. that's nice for you. <laughs> There's some good cards out there. I don't know when to drop out now. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, I'm going to toss. Meta game. I know. I'm going to toss this one out there, this regular customer. Ooh. I can't okay. deal with that person. So a wheat, wheat and cabbage. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. Yeah. I need something that needs turnips. <laughs> All right, let's see what we got. Oh, oh my gosh, <laughs> cabbage and beans. Cabbage beans. All of these orders are, are so painful for us for some yeah. reason. <laughs> okay, I'm going to drop out and okay. I'm going to take this card, the trader. Oh, the trader. Because it lets me it. trade a vegetable at somebody else's stall. Okay, interesting. And uh, I'm also gonna keep this uh, regular customer mm. from my hand. So they want pumpkin and cabbage. So, oh, so I have a little bit of time. And then that's a market stall for you. That is so, very interesting. I'm out. You are going to take the first player token. Oh, wow. Wow, wow, wow. Okay, I think uh, I'm going to discard this one card. I really wanted it for a very long time. And I'm going to take this market stall. Oh, okay. Which is really nice. Hey, and then, that's good for me. And then, yeah. And then I'm <laughs> going to take the squire. I wanted the saleswoman, but I think I will take the squire. That's the wow. one that allows me to take up to three uh, from the center. I debated the squire, but I have just so little going for me right yeah. now that... I, I felt I felt like I needed some time. Yeah, you know? I know what you mean. Yeah. Uh, so I'm going to discard the shopper, which is uh, you can buy one from the supply for two less than what it would cost from the shop. Okay. But That's these are all really nice. Discard. Yeah, okay. I wanted to hang on to that one, but I wanted this also. Yeah. So let Can't me do it all. Stack these. Not yet, up. at least. All right, going into the actions phase, uh, let's go ahead and satisfy all these customers. These two wonderful customers who are paying me <laughs> some cash so that's gonna nice. be nice so how much do you get total uh it's gonna be 11 total okay so that's that one and then these two come wow. down here 11 money i do have a loan i do have a loan <laughs> yeah okay. but your customer you have one happy customer one very happy customer i always make all my customers <laughs> angry right away <laughs> yeah okay so i am looking at some of this stuff here and man i wish i can get some of it going, but I have nowhere to plant them. Well, you can pay two coins to get a two-pack, look for a field. Oh, that's too much money. That's too much money for me. Plus, by my card counting, I know for a fact my, my next field is going to be a three field. Because my five came out, mm -hmm. I bought the five. So my five, my six, and my four came out. So for sure, my three is coming out. And so the way that you stack the deck is there are two copies of each card. Mm -hmm. And you have one set of three through six mm -hmm. on top of another, another set. set. And those are both shuffled individually. Individually, yeah. yeah. So... 
you kind you can kind of card count. Like at this point, you can card count yes. your last, your next card. Totally. But after that, you don't know what's going on. Then it's a, a, a brand new four. Mm-hmm. All right. Seeing as there's no exchange for turnips or anything, and uh, this person here is going to want turnips, and I only have two here, and mm. these two are going to be dedicated there. I think I should probably plant there and then maybe use the turnips that I don't end up needing to do some exchanges later. So sure. I'm going to spend five to go to my shop. Okay and plant me some turnips so i have now four more nice you're trying to gain more turnips i'm trying to get rid of mine i, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I regret that <laughs> yeah <laughs> uh okay that was a good barter i know right and then now i'm going to spend one of those new turnips no they're wow. not here i can't what are you no. doing no okay <laughs> Later, I will try to spend one of them. What is this rule? I know, I know. You're right. So I'm pretty sure I'm doing something very inefficient, and mm -hmm. people who are very good at this game probably are seeing it, uh, but I do not see it. And so unfortunately, I'm probably only going to move up one space. It is what it is, man. Oh my but, gosh. Yeah, I know. That's great for me, I guess. I don't think I'll be able to afford to go to the six either. Okay. So. Dang. All right. So it's back to me, and I'm just going to start by fulfilling this order now. Sure. So there goes the the uh, wheat and the pumpkin and there you go so that's gonna be five coins i'm also gonna do i'm gonna do um utilize the services of my trader sure so that i could get a two-pack for free essentially so i'm gonna trade in my turnip at your stall sure and i'm thinking you know as lovely as it would be to grow some leek um mm -hmm. i can't okay. so i think i'm gonna get started on this customer's order and trade my turnip I'm going to trade it for this cabbage. Okay. So it only costs me one uh, vegetable, which goes into the supply. And I get the cabbage. Nice. And so, I get nothing because not round eight or nine. Right. But Sorry. you did help me kind of clear this off a little bit. So yeah. that's good. So Thank you can you. clear off your market stall faster. Mm -hmm. um, before I do anything else, I'm going to take a two pack now because it is free. Great. Yeah. And Perfect timing. Oh. oh a time. field. Wow. That, wow. That got interesting. Can you take both of them? I think I'm just going to take this field. Two so points. I might not even be able to move up the path this round. Ooh. I might not have any money. Is that's that a, good. That, that's, see, I always feel like it's a terrible reason to take a loan just to move up the prosperity track because it's going to be one step back. Yeah. So yeah, I might not be able to move up at all. Okay. So I'm going to take this field. Okay. And I'm going to pay two coins for it. So there's a five. One, two, three. Yep. And then with the rest of my money, this is going to go on. Uh -huh. But the rest of my money, I'm going to buy a pumpkin. Okay. So that I can get this just going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. By next, because this person is going to be really mad right now. Right. And I don't want to, if I don't get another pumpkin by next round, I'm going to lose two coins. Okay. So here's my four that I'm spending to purchase the last pumpkin in my store. And um, so now I can't buy pumpkin at all. So now you're going to sell them until both. Until I sell back. And then I'm going to sell them both. Yeah. I'm going to do the pumpkins yeah. in this on this field. Sure. Because I need a lot, a lot of pumpkin. I really do. And then I can always trade it later for an extra cabbage. Yeah. So I just do that. Uh, yeah, I don't think there's a wrong answer here. I think there might be. <laughs> I think there's a statistically poorer choice. <laughs> it depends but... on what cards come out. Yeah, yeah. yes, that's true. I'm going to flip this over because I did not fulfill um, their order, so they okay. are mad. And that's it. That's it. I think I'm, I'm done. That is the end of the round. So uh, no vegetables to store no uh naveen would you care to pay yeah, your pay way a, up i'm gonna pay path. a buck i'll just put it off to the side i'm gonna go here and unfortunately i'm one coin short <laughs> i'm going to six but that means i have money to work with yes. in the next round that's true that's what that means i can't even go up one step about that that's yeah. awful <laughs> all right that's it we're moving on to the next round yep. so starting with the harvest phase and i think i'm going to start um turning over my cards up here okay sounds good so what round are we in this uh, is round one two three four round five yeah right i think we're entering round five so there's my my fiver there's my so three. yeah we have we have four cards left and i believe you don't flip over a card in the last in the last one round but I, we both also bought a field so now it's throwing me off. oh it's yeah. round four it's round, four. In round yeah. four you're correct because the reason i know this is the three is because one two three Yes, four, you know, yes. Do so. not count your rounds by how many fields you have in front right. of you. Count how many fields you have left in your deck. That's it. Okay, so then go ahead and pluck off a vegetable. Let's get some Two. stuff coming towards me. Four, five. Okay, this is, this nice is exciting. Veggies. This is an exciting round because it is the beginning of actually doing something. Okay, <laughs> yeah, nice. Okay, 
Uh, care to shuffle the cards? Yeah, let's do it. So we're approaching the halfway point. Approaching, and, yeah. Uh, it, it's definitely feeling a little better than it did at the beginning, I will say. Yeah, you got to get those those uh, regular customers automated. Mm -hmm. You're definitely still at the mercy of the luck of the draw, but you have to just do what you can, right? Totally. Okay, so we have our a deck all shuffled. One, two, three, and four. Nice. Okay. Thank you. I don't even know what I want right now. I feel like I'm all set up. Like, I don't... I don't want anything to oh, you're, bother you're, this. Oh, you're good, yeah. Because <laughs> you're forced to, you have to take two cards. Well, it is starting with you, so whenever you're ready. All right, so I'm going to get rid of that tenant farmer, the one that allows me to kind of pick one from here, and then, uh, or I can discard one of these unplanted ones down here. So, right. Uh, I don't want to deal with it. No. <laughs> uh, okay, so then it goes to me. I'm going to flip over the top of this deck. Let's see what we have. We have a casual customer. Where are the market stalls? Hey. Really? They need cabbage, but all my cabbage has up. been assigned. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you have tied up <laughs> for sure. Well, I'm going to, I'm going to toss this. Well, I don't know. Maybe Naveen might like that. Okay, here's the casual customer. There you go. Into the courtyard. Mm. So this is supposed to be thematically represent people who are gathering literally at the courtyard. Because uh, I, I believe this game takes place, and we probably should have prefaced with this, but I believe it takes place like in two, 2000, 2000 years, ago, years ago or something, something like like literally at the gates of Liang, where they would trade and, and, do, and do this sort of stuff. So. You know very little about that time. Me too. Nick. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to flip over a card. Okay. Oh, boy. The hardest thing to fulfill <laughs> that I've seen so far. Cabbage yeah, Leak. Yeah, Cabbage uh, Leak. The Cabbage Leak combo. Ugh. Cabbage Leak is killing me. Awful. Here. Where is the turnip grain combo? Turnip grain is that I what you're looking for? I would love that. Yeah, there's not too many grain combos out there. Here you go. Here, here's grain cabbage. Is that something? You know what? Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> okay, maybe. Not sure yet. So now let's just see time. what we have. Ooh. The merchant. So you can buy for one coin. Here, I'm going to move your thing down here just a little bit. So this is the card that allows you to buy a vegetable for one coin. Uh, if it's a vegetable that you can that you have to turn in twice. So for me, I could oh, buy a pumpkin, pumpkin for a coin. Yeah, that's not bad. I have to say, the cards in my hand are um, are really tough because I'm forced to keep one yeah, of these. Yeah, you have to keep one, and you're like, I'm I don't like, want these things. I'm like, eye contact with this regular customer here. Like, oh. I can't serve you. I'm sorry. So send it back. I'm going to play a card. I'm going to play this regular customer mm -hmm. uh, to the courtyard. Not ready yet. I'm not quite ready. Ooh. Wow, wow, wow. Okay. There is some options here, and I have this squire yes. that I've been eyeing. Oh, you're just going to take all the cards. I should have dropped that out. No, no, no. But I, I don't. There's some good cards there, but man, it, I'm I'm nervous. Okay, I, I think I'm going to use my squire. <sighs> so the squire is going to gonna pick up a bunch of people. Don't take every. Do not leave me with just <laughs> all yeah. regular customers. So the squire is. Really upset. <laughs> yeah, the squire says during this card phase, instead of taking uh, one and one, one from my hand and one from here. I can take one from my hand and up to three, up to three from there. Okay. So I'm going to spend this. This goes into the discard. And I'm going to take, I think I'm going to take cabbage. Nice. Cabbage. <gasps> wow. And this one. And I wow. might be in big trouble. <laughs> or, or you might be building an empire. This that's looks, right. This looks really intense. Do I have a little thingy? You, this better be a well-oiled machine or else. The way, the way I see it is this customer... From day one, I satisfied them, so they yes. can wait. They can wait. Yeah, for yeah, order. that's true. You can, you have I can, a round. I can take a penalty on them. Yeah. Uh, oh, and then the one card that I'm going to keep is going to be a field. Oh, okay. So, because I need, I need to plant something for all these people. You so know, you're gonna have to pay and, the two and this coins. This is my discard. I am going to pay the two coins. Thank you. And I have uh, three back. Yeah. Nice. I really want a field as well. I just don't have any money, and I don't. Yeah. I don't want to take that alone. Put my field here. It is nice not having a loan just yet. It's good, yeah. The delivery man. So deliver to another player's regular customer and take the proceeds yourself. <laughs> I don't think it snipes that customer from them for no. the round. I think it just gives me the opportunity to also deliver to them yep. is what we gather from yep. like the reference in the rule book. Mm -hmm. So now I have to take uh, a card. I'm going to let's increase our chances. Good luck. Ooh. Okay, I'm going to take a risk on a regular customer. This okay. might be a really bad idea. One in your hand or but, uh, one in the No, middle? one here. In the I'm courtyard. Gonna, let's see. I, I know I don't have any leaks or any anything going that's going to meet this, but... You need to find the saleswoman. I need to find the saleswoman. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm going to hold on to the trader that lets me trade at your market stalls. Okay, cool. And I'm essentially going to need to find... I know I'm tossing a field, and I, I need a field. It's actually what I need, but I was a little bit hesitant about taking it alone. Mm. That was a really difficult 
That was a really difficult decision to make sure, right there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, all right, so I am start player now. Yeah, you are. And I'm going to start with the actions phase. Okay. And what you got? You know, let's do the fulfilling of things first. Sure. So I'm going to turn in this order. So it's going to be the wheat pumpkin for five. five. Okay. And then we have my first pumpkin cabbage delivery five. here for another five. Yeah. So at least we have some money. I have one turnip left. And I think I'm going to uh, utilize my trader now to trade it in for this leak. Oh, for the leak. For Just for the chance that I may be able to, I might have to just buy buy something to plant in that field if I can't find a field to plant my leak mm. in. Because I really only need to hold on to seven of this. Ugh, I don't know, it's a mess. It's a mess. Interesting. I'm gonna need to find my way into some cabbage before the next round. That is very interesting. So here you we go. You changed up my play a little bit here. Two okay. pack. Uh oh. Oh no. What do you got? It's not what I, not what I wanted not at all. Not envisioned. No. No. Okay. So we have a casual customer. I have so many casual customers. I'm not fulfilling anybody's orders. So, I'm not gonna hold on to that card. The maid. In this action phase, I can exchange vegetables one to one at all market stall spaces where you would usually have to trade in two mm. vegetables to receive one. It's nice, but you have no market stalls. I know, I keep ditching those. Yeah, You're using mine. I feel like this helper is gonna be useful though for the future. Hopefully, yeah. So let's do that. And now I'm stuck, because I clearly can't fulfill this uh, regular customer. So we flip that over. I have this leak and I have a field where I can't plant the leak. So you know what I'm gonna do? I am going to just not plant something here. It, does, it only goes away when you remove the last yeah. uh, vegetable on it. So for next round, I will just have two fields. Maybe I'll be more prepared <laughs> okay, at that yeah. point. But wow, I'm doing something really inefficient. It's hard. So I, I'm choosing to go up the, the steps of prosperity over purchasing this really, really expensive cabbage. All right, I'm going to end my turn. So it wow. goes to you. Okay, you taking that leak changed so much as to what I was going to do here. Oh, really? I was going to finagle, going to let these guys flip. I was going to satisfy this for 13 coins. Oh, no. But, I threw a rock. Yeah, you totally did. Cog. Yeah, I didn't. That's, the pebble I, I was there. trying to hold on to not <laughs> dropping out because I, I knew I wanted to do that play. And I was like, ah. And then when you took the cabbage leak and I was like, no, you're going to take that leak because okay. I was going to use one of these unnecessary to then switch out for that. Okay. And then because I had the merchant, I can buy a cabbage for one total. Right. Spend it into there and then do a whole bunch of things. But uh, I guess it's not going to happen. <laughs> okay. Well, I guess I did one thing. Okay. Okay. So I don't want to anger this person. So let's just handle that. So that's going to get me uh, seven coins. Okay. Okay. So I have two right here. If you want to just give me five. There you go. Okay, so that's seven coins and this person's satisfied. Now, who do I want to anger here? Because I do have this merchant and the merchant basically says, I can buy vegetables for one coin this round as long as my regular customers, at least it's shown up twice. So in, okay. this, in this case, I can do this for either cabbage or wheat because I have one, two, three wheat showing and two cabbage showing. Okay, but I think you can only buy one. Well, one of that type. So yes. because you have two different uh, vegetables that you can you have to deliver at least twice of, then you can do one of each. I, I could, yeah. So uh, knowing that I have these four, these two, and this, I'm definitely going to want to take uh, for one coin mm -hmm. cabbage. Okay. I'm going to spend this person. They're going to go out. They're going to go oh, there. Sorry. Thank you. Uh -huh. And this has to be purchased from my shop. So instead of paying five, I'm actually going to pay one, which I already paid. Yep. And then uh, we're going to go and put it onto this one. One. Oh, you're planting. Oh, yeah. That's a fusion action. <laughs> yeah, because I, this I'm, I'm going to upset that person yes. so that I can uh, do it later. <laughs> yeah, we are not ever going to go into the restaurant business. No, <laughs> don't worry. <laughs> no, no, no. Um, I want to be done with this here. So I'm going to do this kind of weird thing where I'm trading wheat for wheat. Right. And okay. then now this is all cleared off, meaning this card can go bye bye. Nice. And it's going to make my life a little cheaper here. Okay, one of these people is going to not be too happy. I, I just don't have enough resources and I'm not... Well, this, this person is definitely going to be unhappy. Now that we're kind of like in this stage of the game, this is yeah. all one big puzzle that you're trying to figure like, out. Like, okay, so if I put veggies, that veggies. vegetable there and who... Yeah. You know? Because I, I, I don't want to pay to flip this over to store more because I would like to keep my money. So I'm going to do this. I'm going to I'm gonna put these two wheat in here. Okay. Uh, so that satisfies this customer. And that's going to be... Five? It looks like five, yeah. There you go. Not as much as you I want. You are, oh my gosh, rolling in dough. <sighs> yep. 
And then so <laughs> so that's five. Nice. Uh, this person, because I have nothing left to show, I think that's going to be it for them. Okay. I might do a cabbage trade, though, with my own little place here. So I'm going to do that. So I'm going to... Oops. Oh, wow. I know. Customer is being angry. So this uh, is going to trade out for this cabbage. <laughs> okay. And then this does not need to hang out yeah, here. Yeah, so we actually aren't supposed to put them in the bowls. Just to represent. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's it. Okay. And I believe that is going to be it for me. All right. So this customer is angry? Angry. Not happy with me. All right. So they just at in. least, I mean, this is impressive. That customer, you should get a bonus for never upsetting your regular customer. Although um, that's not that's not in the rules. No. So, no. all right, that is the end of our actions phase. Yeah. Let's now we are going to store our vegetable. Yeah, my one. And vegetable. pay. So I have I have ten cash here. It's gonna be one to get there, and then six more to get there. So it's a total of seven. Seven. I can't progress any further than that. Three change. How about yourself? All right, so I'm gonna go one for the six. Okay. And then uh, five, six, seven. All right. I don't have enough. I don't have eight to go up to the eight. So I'm at the six and you're at the seven, which is technically six and six. Yes. But you definitely have more money to show for it. And you have a really good, nice looking machine there. Yeah. So let's see. <laughs> let's see how this goes. What happens next? Ah, OK. <laughs> ne next round. Let's go to the harvest phase. Uh, Ready? Yeah. Flip. So Let's I've got my six. six. Okay, I got my five coming out. So at least I have two fields. So we'll I've see. got my fields kind of going this way. This one's going to go bye bye, and that one's going to go bye bye soon. I never planted here. So okay, okay, pull up so down. Gonna pluck. So many veggies. And since I cleared off this card, this goes out. This yeah. is one of the uh, my private cards. It goes out of the out game. Of the game. Yep. So it won't be getting shuffled in. Nope. All okay. right. So, so I'm just going to do this yeah. just so I know that these two fields are um, plantable. Yep. That's right. Okay. Looks good. So let's go ahead and shuffle the deck. Yes. Oh man, there's so, some opportunities rounds. here. Wow. Okay, we have we have four, four more, more rounds. rounds. Yeah. Round five. We're not even halfway up this track. Maybe. No, I think uh, we we've gotten high before on this track, but every game is different. Every game is a little you know, different. The way that the cards come out, and uh, I don't know if I'm just making excuses for <laughs> <laughs> the way that I'm playing. No ones. All right, ready? So yes. you are first player. One, two. Three, Maybe it's the fact that I haven't taken four. out a loan. You can do it now. I feel like loans free. are good in Uwe Rosenberg games. Sometimes definitely, they're pretty good. Yeah, yeah, we've definitely been told that in Lahav. Okay, I'm going to start by playing this card. It is a regular customer that would like <laughs> some turnip and pumpkins. Okay. If you're interested. Uh, let's go ahead and flip. Okay. Let's see what we got. Ooh, not a good looking stall. Let's go ahead and uh, give out a field. <laughs> Ooh. Fiverr. Field. You have two unplanted I know. fields. <laughs> I have I two unplanted fields. I don't Send even them off. have vegetables it's gotta go. for that. Okay. <laughs> Let me just divvy up my vegetables really quickly. Nice. Okay. I'm going to play a market stall to the courtyard. Mm -hmm. That's it. I didn't flip over no flip. any additional cards. Nope. I'll flip. Okay. Let's just move these loans out of the way since sure. you're not taking any. <laughs> Another <laughs> one. So this Another one you cannot one. plant leeks So I'm going to give up the shopper. Uh, you can buy one vegetable from the supply, not from the shop, and the vegetable costs two less oh, than it would shop. from the shop. Okay. That's not bad. So, so you buy I, from the supply for right. two less than what you see on your board. Okay. That's not bad. That's still too much for me. Yeah. <laughs> I have not been able to hold on to money. So um, I'm actually going to drop out. I'm a little bit relieved that you didn't take the market stall that I, I needed, but I'm going to flip over this just in case. So, ooh, we have the plowman. This is interesting. So this helper allows you to either um, return all vegetables from one of your fields so that you can replant mm. on that field. Mm -hmm. Although you do not get the vegetables, they go into the supply. supply. Okay. Or you can immediately harvest vegetables from all of your fields that contain only one. Oh, interesting. So that's kind of like a rush order. Like, hurry. like you know what? It's okay if you're not yeah. fully grown. I need yeah. you now. Just so anyway, I am not going to be uh, taking that card. Okay, that's fair. So I am dropping out and I'm going to take the market stall. Finally, I waited too long. Don't wait this long to get a market stall. It's nice to have it. Definitely. You've been using mine though. Yes. So I and mean, that, maybe that's why I haven't gotten yeah. my own because I really like the two pack. Um, and then <laughs> the from these place. two cards, I'm going to hold on to the merchant. So oh. I felt like had I dropped the merchant, Naveen definitely would have taken it because this is the one that lets you buy mm -hmm. for a coin. The exact one I just yeah, used. Yeah, the one that he just used. Previous. And I have a lot of cabbage that I need to fulfill. So Yeah, that is right. That is, wow. Yeah. Very nice. Uh, this is the bookkeeper. So uh, for the bookkeeper, you're going to go through your entire shop and you're gonna in each space, you're going to decide whether or not you want a vegetable to be there. 
So if I wanted more pumpkins to buy, then I can fill that spot. And if I wanted to sell vegetables back, then I would empty that spot. Does that mm -hmm. make sense? Mm -hmm. And uh, in addition, you get to choose one type of vegetable. And for each of your field cards that you have that vegetable on it, you get a coin. Oh, interesting. So that is a, a very... lot of verbiage, but pretty, re pretty rewarding, I think. That is a very interesting one for me because I do have multiple fields of the same type. So that would be two coins, right? Yeah, two coins. And then what is the... Um... So you can go through here. And so you don't have any more of these vegetables. If you really want to be able to buy them again in the future, you can say, well, I want one here. I want one there. I don't want this there. Wow. <laughs> that, is, uh, that is very interesting. Okay, I know for sure I want to keep this because I want that leak. Last time you <laughs> took my leak, I wanted the cheap leak. I wanted to hold out as long as possible. That I'm keeping. Uh, uh, this is going to be my discard, which I cannot pick up. So now which one? I, it, I, I don't know what it was. Oh, yeah, sure. It's the, oh, the uh, market woman. Market woman, yeah. Oh, my gosh. This is the this is the really mean one when you're in, in playing at higher player counts <laughs> because you can take one of your market stalls and exchange Just it for somebody it. else's. Yeah. And then you refill both of them. Yeah. So if somebody is like almost done with their market stall or if they really need it, <laughs> too bad. Yeah, so right? I cannot take that one. All right, I think the one I'm going to take is that bookkeeper that you just mentioned. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah, that's a pretty nice one. I debated that one. Mm -hmm. I really did. But I really needed to get yeah. some more vegetables. Let so. me load up my stall here. Sure. Uh, let's go ahead and do that. That's wheat, uh, cabbage. Do you have any cabbage over there? Oh, I have one. I found it. And then I need a leek. Let's see. I got one. Okay, cool. Okay, so now this is all going to become a discard. Yep. To possibly be seen later. And then you are going first. Okay, so what is gonna happen here? I I see some opportunities to satisfy this one for thirteen coins. Show and, us the way, Naveen. Okay, so the way I see it is, I need this leak, which you uh, took away from me last time. Correct. So I'm gonna <laughs> trade a wheat for it right there. Okay. Okay. Then I'm gonna take this leak, and then now I'm gonna immediately satisfy leak, cabbage, and uh, turnip. Nice. And I'm so doing this one that, first. That we huh? get, oh, yeah. goes just goes. so that we don't get confused. Sure. Uh, and I, I wanted to do this one first before satisfying this one because I wanted more regular right. to be there so I can get the extra two bonus. Yes. Because my order operation. So right. that's as, a. As a reminder, that modifier is dependent on how many regular customers right. you have at the time. So, so because you have more, yep. you get the plus two. 13. By the way, if you had an equal number, then you just get whatever the base value that's is. Right. There's just yep. no modifier. Yep. Very good. Okay, so that's that. So this one can go bye bye, which is nice. Yep. Um, I'll just put that in the discard. Okay. Okay, this one's just gonna slide down. Uh, and then so now I will go ahead and satisfy this last one here. So this is another eight for mm -hmm. me. Hi. So can I have eight, please? Oh my gosh. And this guy is now done, done. Can I have two? Back? Uh, yes, you can have two back. Thank you. So he's done. This little token can go away, and then I'm just gonna toss these all back. Perfect. Oh, this one's gonna go there. All right. So now you have two two regulars. Yeah, and this one wants cabbage wheat. This one has not been upset, so <laughs> uh, I think it's gonna be this one's still in play. I think I'm just gonna help this person out here yeah. and not get mad at me. Very good. So boom, boom to get four more. So 13 plus 8 plus 4, so back? yeah, that was a good one for me. Oh my gosh, Naveen, look at all that money. Yeah. How many steps <laughs> are you going to buy? I think I got 25 coins in that one wow. little section there. Wow. If you, you have 31 exactly? I think so, yeah. If you don't spend to. any of your money, you can go up like four steps. Yeah, I'm thinking, I'm, yeah, that's kind of <laughs> where I want to go with it. Oh, I'm, I'm it's over. <laughs> it's over. <laughs> oh my gosh. So this person's going to be angry with me, though. That's okay. That is okay. I want to use the bookkeeper, I think. So I want to load it all up. I'm just going to load it. You're going to load up everything? I'm going to say yes to everything. Well, I want it all let me loaded. Help you. Thanks. So you want to do the second half of that part? Sure, correct. And then, um, so it says, in addition, um, look at your field cards and any fields that are planted uh, that have the same type, so like yep. this or the two cabbage, you get one coin per. So I'm just going to say the wheat and I'll get two coins. Nice. Oh, you want all these loaded as well? Yeah, let's do it. Okay. Let's do there it. you go. You are fully loaded and you get two coins. Two coins. Okay, cool. There you go. Nice. As if you needed more money. I did. But it, it's going to be nice for you going into the next round um, with some money, mm -hmm. right? Wow. It is, yeah. Look at that. You're like a, you know, Scrooge McDuck <laughs> when he's sitting in all his like gold yeah, coins. looking good. These are from last round, I think. Oh, so. okay. okay. Oh, this person's upset. Sorry. Oh, yes. Very good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, very good. 
Okay, so I've divvied them, them out. I, you know, at this rate, I'm just not going to fulfill any of my casual customers. I've led them on 100%. <laughs> um, I'm going to fulfill this order. So pumpkin and my wheat for six. Yeah. And then this customer is done. So finally, I don't have to worry about uh, grain, <laughs> really. Yeah. So this card gets this card. Now you can use your grain for satisfying that customer. Correct. All right. Uh, regular one. So now we have a pumpkin and cabbage. So there's that. And that's going to get me six coins. I need to find a way to, well, actually, that's it right there. But, oh, I'm not going to be planting anything. <laughs> and so I think I'm just going to, uh, I'm going to exchange my turnip mm -hmm. uh, for, you know what? This is supposed to come populated. Oh, yeah. yeah. So it's supposed to have a turnip, cabbage, and beans. You have the beans on there? Wow. Yeah, we have neglected the beans. Totally. That sense. is probably like the biggest money pot. And we're just missing out on the beans. Yeah. So I'm going to turn in the turnip for uh, the cabbage. So at least I can fulfill this order sure. once. So I'm just like treading water with this with this customer right now. Did you want to do the, the thing where you clear it off, the turnip for the turnip, then you use that second turnip for the cabbage so that you're just one away from clearing this off? I don't know. I'm a little bit worried that I might, might actually need, need a turnip. And Some I don't, I no longer have a turnip field. Sure. So I'm going to leave that. That's, yeah. And so for fulfilling this order, by the way, okay. I did both of these. I'm going to get a seven. Nice. So here we go. You came into some cash too. And because I don't have anything planting, I'm going to utilize my merchant and I'm going to spend one coin to buy a cabbage because I had to, I had to fulfill it twice. Yep. So it's one coin and I have to take the cabbage from my shop and I have to plant it right there. So it's the merchant, yeah, merchant only field that can take it, right? Yes. This one is only the I three guess, basic ones. I got ones. two cabbage for you. Thank you. Yeah. All right. Right, and I believe, I believe that's it. Yeah, looks good. They don't have any polar vegetables. Mm -hmm. I don't, do I buy a two pack? That's how I got into trouble last time. I mean, you that? have a good amount of money. You should math out your money though, right? I have exactly enough money to buy the two pack and move up three spaces. Ooh. Um, I think I'm going to do it. So good it's going to cost me a coin. Yep. I, I can't actually afford getting a field. That's the one thing, but you can I don't always want discard that. it though. Yeah. Anyway. Okay, ready? Yes. Ooh, a nice little stall. That's a great stall. Okay. Look at that. And the, that's a tout. Tout. Exchange one of your casual customers for a casual customer belong to another player, or I can just outright buy one from you. Ha! Huh. I'm gonna take both. So technically, it's gonna look like this because you have to um, overlap one on top of the other. Sure. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and utilize this uh, this helper already, and I'm gonna give you one of mine. I'm just gonna exchange with you. So then this one, let's exchange these. Pumpkin. Yeah. The one thing I'm not doing with <laughs> Well, all of my, all of my casual customers um, needed uh, pumpkin. So that's true. And so now this one is active. So next round, I can get a leak. Although all of these vegetables <laughs> are spoken for too. <laughs> ah, it's a hard life. You're working hard. Look at your leak exchanges. <laughs> the leak exchange is not bad. It's working for you. You, gotta, you just got to basically find one every single round yes. and never plant them. I'm scrounging. I'm scrounging for these leaks. <laughs> Through the garbage, yeah. <laughs> All right, that's it. We are done. So nice. let's go ahead and pay our money. Okay. So for me, it's going to be one to get to seven plus eight, which is nine, mm -hmm. plus another nine, which is 18. And I believe I have exactly that. So 15, 15. 16, 17, 18, wow. which means I can move up these three steps. Cool. So that's me. Okay, so let's see how much money I have. I oh have my five, gosh. 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 1, 2, 3, 33. Okay, so I'm going to pay the 1 to the 8. Yep. And then uh, what do I have here? So, and then 30. Yep. I believe 30. To, so it's 9 plus 10 plus 11 is 30. Definitely. So we're going to move all the way 1, 2, 3 to 11. Not it's, looking it's, it's good. It's harder to climb though from here going forward. It is. It's it way gets more expensive. real expensive. And those like one dollar, the one coin differences are going to be huge. Monumental. So, all right. We are now more than halfway through mm -hmm. and we're going to begin the next round. Are you ready? Uh, yeah, let's do it. I'm feeling, uh, uh, I feel uh, a little bit bad. That's, uh, you're, you're, you're pretty high up there. Yeah. You're even I with the make load, more money. You're still a step above me. That's true. So. Yeah. Okay. Next flip one. over your next field. And this is my my it's fiber. It. I'm still I still don't have a leak plucking them down worthy field at the moment. I'm glad I never so. flipped over my storage container though. That's pretty good. Yes. Okay, so this is out. This is one that I purchased. So this one will go back into so will supply. This. So was yours. Yeah. Okay, we're so. moving on down. I'm gonna move these over here so that I, uh oh, this is gonna be the end of the road for two of my fields. I better get to planting. Yeah. 
Yeah, I have I have three spots here, and I'm not sure what I'm doing. Okay, I guess that that's that. So go ahead and shuffle, please. Uh, yes. Wow, we got through a lot of cards there, huh? We went. Yeah, we yeah. did. That was a lot of wheeling and dealing. Yeah, that I think. was good. That was a good round. Yeah. More cards. I want to see something really cool. Yeah. What are you looking for? It's hard to tell I don't know what, what I'm looking for. to kind of go for it. Kind of. Yeah. Maybe I do want the helpers now. <laughs> I need some help. Yeah. All right. Seeing as I'm not in the bean game, we're just going to drop off this casual customer. Leeks and beans? I don't think so. Okay. My cabbage is all spoken for. I don't think so. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and flip a card. Let's see. Okay. We have green, green pumpkin. That seems like a doable task. <laughs> that seems perfect. Absolutely perfect for me. Are you dropping out now? I might. I mean, I it's, think... yeah, it's a, a customer that I think you can deal with, right? I think so. I'm right away. Liking the idea of this uh, this customer. I'm going to do it. I'm dropping out. So yeah, I'm going good. to definitely take this this regular customer because I am in dire need. And you have exactly Please what you need for it. believe in me. And then from my hand, I'm going to keep the plowman because this is going to allow me to immediately harvest these fields. Oh. And this is going to be really important for me so that I can replant a pumpkin for this person or just whatever else, right? Very, very nice. So Expose some goodies. Here you go. Um, I hope you don't need any of them. <laughs> what do you think? This is nice. So but... This is interesting because now you are forced. So if you wanted, because earlier in the game, I did, I needed uh, two of the cards in my yeah. hand. So I played one, That's right. waited a turn. So now you can't. I can't do, do any that, of that. So. But I do not Apologize. like my cards. So I'm going to flip one up just to see if there's anything. Oh, oh. Okay, so you kind of forced my hand here. Uh, I'm seeing that I'm, I'm going to need some passive income coming soon. So uh, I'm going to keep this card. Okay. And take this. <gasps> I'm, Interesting. I'm going for it. And I'm, I'm keeping the con man. Oh, my gosh. How are you going to keep up with the leaks? These are the ones. So it says uh, exchange. So the con man, what this one does is exchange this helper for a helper belonging to another player who has already taken their action. Okay. Good thing you have to go first. Because that means you can't take my my helpers. I cannot take your helpers, unfortunately. No. Thank you. I need this helper. Oh, oh my gosh. Okay. Can I get the little uh, yes. circle thingy? There you go. Thank you. All right. Fantastic. So starting with you in the action phase, Naveen. Okay. There's there's <laughs> there's a lot to do. There's a lot to do, and <laughs> I think I'm gonna be always like a resource short of being able to do it all. I am going to go ahead and just put these two wheat right into here and just be done with this person altogether. Okay. So that is uh, for six coins. Here you go. So this goes out. There you go. Finally, that customer is fully satisfied. Let me get you out of here. Nice. Oh, that was great. You were great. Come to fruition. Yeah. After four After long four rounds long. of so much wheat. <laughs> wheat is still required yeah, wheat <laughs> going is still forward important in your area yes uh so this person really needs wheat and i'm seeing a problem with what's going on over here so i'm going to turn in a turnip mm -hmm. for this wheat okay that's going to come over here one and then the other cabbage is going to come down so that's five and this was satisfied perfect okay now the problem i'm having is uh this person's going to want things that i don't have going they right need now some leaks I need some leaks, and I hate this exchange, <laughs> and I only have that. Instead of just straight up buying leaks for six, I might as well buy wheat for three, and then, and then exchange these two for the one leak. So that's going to cost me one, two, three. Okay. Okay. And then that leak is going to come to me, and then it can only be planted here. So oh, let's nice. go ahead and plant it. And now we have something going. Yeah, you have some open fields too. I do, yeah. We're very field wasteful this time around. Um, I know. Doesn't feel good. No. And now I only have 10. <laughs> that, that, that's only going to be one one notch. Well, sometimes you have to skip around of moving up the, pra the path of prosperity. But sometimes. it's still one step, right? This, this path only maxes out at 20. It is true. Um, if you've ever played this game before, please tell us how far. Can, do people go past 20? Because that seems really, really it does. difficult. It does seem very difficult. Yeah. Now, I want to set this up so that this person is satisfied in the next round. Oh, good luck. But I don't see a way. And so for that reason, <laughs> I, I, I am done. <laughs> <laughs> that is fair enough. Okay. So it's then it's to me. Yeah. And I'm going to start by um, utilizing the plowman. And so I'm going to choose this option. It says like I can immediately harvest vegetables from my fields that, that have exactly one vegetable token, Very just nice. not from my home field. Okay. So that's fine. I'm going to go ahead and um, and just harvest from these two. 
And then these two fields will be out. All right, and they the are starter ones? my starter ones. Okay. They're going to go out of the game. Okay. And so nice now I have, that. yeah, I'm going to keep it Space. like this. Then I know to fill those ones. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I definitely have to fulfill my customers over here. So let's okay. go one pumpkin and one cabbage, and that's going to get me six coins. And then I'm going to, I have to fulfill to this customer, but I don't have a leak. So I'm going to try to fulfill this, this customer. And I'm going to exchange a pumpkin for this leak. Nice. So that pumpkin goes to the supply. So that now <laughs> I fulfill um, this customer's order. So uh -huh. that's going to be eight. And I debated uh, whether or not to try to meet this customer's demands. But, you know, there's only a few rounds left. And if I don't start, I'm not going to be able to fill the card, which I guess is not so bad. Oh my gosh, I need two cabbages. What was I thinking taking this one from you? I don't know. I was glad you did, but now I'm struggling with this lack of pumpkin. You know what? Oh my gosh, I'm not managing my money well, but I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna spend five okay. to buy this last cabbage because right. I really desperately want to plant it. <laughs> I don't know if it makes financial sense, but I really want to plant it okay. in this field. I'm I'm just so tired of of having an empty field, I guess. Sure. So that's what I'll do. I, I did I did that. I'm gonna plant this one here. Thank you. Oh, yeah, you need one more. Yeah. Okay. Got it. Uh oh. Oh nope, we got it. Okay, cool. And then I'm gonna fulfill this order for four. Okay. So that person doesn't even get mad this time. Mm -hmm. So I take a five. Oh yeah, my person gets a one. I forgot about that. <laughs> Oops. And then I'm gonna plant this last pumpkin because I still um, need pumpkin as well. In fact, I might even be short. Um, we will see what goes on <laughs> next round. Yeah, we'll see what the cards uh, have in store. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so I think I think that's it. Let's okay. see, I have I have thirteen. Okay, that's it. Nice. That is the end. Uh, that's, <laughs> yeah. I'm done. Okay. So let's go ahead and pay. So I'm gonna move up two steps. Still, wow. actually, wow. I'm gonna go uh, one plus eleven. So that's twelve. Twelve. So oh, you 10. have it. Yeah. I, for some reason, I, I thought I wasn't gonna have it. Oh but shoot! I had it in the end. So you're so. at twelve. I'm gonna go I'm to at twelve. Eleven. Oh, you're at eleven. Okay. Yeah. So I'm gonna pay one. Just okay. to go up, I need change. Okay. Um, and I'm I need thirteen to go up the next one, so which I don't have. So I have nine now going into the next round. Nice. You have nine going into the yeah, you're in that's great. We're technically in the same place on the prosperity track. That's right. But uh, you have a lot more money and a lot more power to do things that you need to do. I think for the next round. Yeah, we'll see. So <laughs> All right, that is the end of the round. So yeah. let's get started with the next one. Sure. Flip over your next field. Okay. And I've got oh I, I now have got the ability to put leaks. Okay, so we're gonna. I don't have a good market stall for doing one, so two, though. Three. Gosh. Four. One, two. Five. This one's gonna come four. off, and this is my starting. Less vegetables oh, this time good. around. I have a bunch of fields that are just naked, doing nothing. I'm pretty sure that's bad. So let's go ahead and uh, shuffle these up. All right, you are start player again. I am. Let's do it. Okay, here we go. I need so I don't even know what I need. I just need it to work out. You know? I need something that will give me additional vegetables, but I don't think that exists. Yeah, just here's it's, vegetables. It's, there are ways to get it cheaper, but that's pretty much it. Yeah, you're right. Okay, I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna put this one out. Turn up cabbage. Oh yeah, right. Regular customer. Don't want to deal with it. Okay, I'm gonna draw the top card uh, from the deck, and we have another casual customer. I need to stay away from customers. Just no more customers. I will yeah, just deal with the ones you got, right? Place uh, that Bean. one in the courtyard. Oh, shoot. Okay, let's see. Something good. Another customer. Well, okay. Here's a two wheat and a bean. All right. <laughs> How about that? All right. Let's see what we have. And, uh, oh, here we go. Oh, that one. We have a helper. This is, oh, this is the one that lets you me exchange casual customers. I am not, I'm not. <laughs> yeah, in you're the already know. so focused on the one. Yeah, I'm going to not even bother with that one sure. right now. And. I'm going to drop a market stall. Ooh. So there you go. I want to drop out. But after I see something. Okay. Okay. Oh, another customer. Just another customer. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to keep the shopper, which is buy one vegetable from the supply, uh, not from the shop. That costs two less than what it would cost here. So okay. I'll take that. That's one. what you need in kind of this late in the game. Yeah. You need discounts. stuff that'll get you cheap, cheap vegetables. And then, um, boy, I don't want to deal with any of these people. <laughs> But I might as well do the market stall. Okay. Because uh, better than getting another better customer. Better than getting a customer. Yeah, that's gonna ruin this person's uh, rate. That's what I don't want to happen. All right. And this one comes uh, face up now. This is another customer. Nice. Two pumpkins and a bean. 
And let me just fill in my little thing while you... Uh, this is your last turn. My last turn, so I'm going to flip this so over. you are going to get this over. Oh, awful. Another customer. Look at all these customers. <laughs> I don't want another customer. Yeah, I can't beat my own. I guess I'll I'll just go helper. All, all helpers. So I'll take the tout. Um, and I will hold on to... And then I'll keep the official. So mm. the official states that during this action phase, when I um, utilize them, the buy a two pack action is free. So, yeah. you know, I'm going to be doing it's that. It's really good because right now it'll be three to you. So that's great. Right. So really then good. these get discarded. Oh, this I actually let go of the squire, which is the one that Naveen used to take Just up to three cards snatch. from the courtyard. And so that was kind of a difficult decision. <laughs> all right. So <laughs> but, it's you first. All right. So it is me. I'm just going to reset these. Oh, I saw, I, I can still make them mad. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Well, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, buy a two-pack for free. Yeah, use uh, official. Yeah. Official. Oh, you have the trader. Okay. What else? <laughs> and then uh, this one. A market stall. Oh, the leak. <gasps> wow. That's the one where you can trade at my uh, stalls. But because we are in round... Are we in round eight? No, we're in round seven. Seven. Uh, I don't get a benefit if you take it. I'm going to do <laughs> this. You're going to trade in my stalls? Uh, should I... Do I want that? Yes. I'm going to do this. I'm going to take both. What are you taking? I'm keeping both. Okay. And then I'm going to... Um, let me fulfill first. Sure. So I'm going to fulfill the last order for this customer. So it's seven. Seven. Okay. And then they're done. So now I have some money. And then this customer can go back. So I don't have any plans of fulfilling any of my casual customers anyway. Cool. So maybe that <laughs> uh, ratio thing That's is that. not so bad. Okay. So I have one round of leeway for this customer. This one, I do have the cabbage, but I don't have the leek. So, so what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to utilize the maid finally. So mm -hmm. this one says that during this action phase, any um, trade stalls that require two vegetables, okay. you only need to trade in one, mm -hmm. essentially. So I'm going to utilize the maid as well as the trader so that I can trade one vegetable at another player's market stall. Okay, what are you coming at me for? So I'm <laughs> going to trade in my, my wheat okay. for your leek. I'm assuming you could synergize the two because yeah, why not? Yeah, it makes let's sense. Right? Say, so let's just say yes. I'll go ahead and take the leak. Thank you, Naveen. <laughs> okay. And then, uh, and I can fulfill um, this person's order with these two. But let me go ahead and discard these. And also, this market stall will come into play. Mm. But let me go ahead and fulfill this order really quickly, so that I don't forget. So that's going to be eight coins. Okay. So now this market stall gets filled in, mm -hmm. and I think I really want to plant. Uh, something there. Okay. So I'm going to have to utilize this market stall. I'm going to try to um, I'm going to try to get it for cheaper <laughs> than what it is because this has cost six coins for one leak. So I'm going to buy a wheat for three. Sure. And then Convert I'm into a leak. gonna yeah okay. I'm going to exchange it for this leak. So it goes to the supply. And then with the leak I'm going to plant it so that we have some some leaks going finally. Mm -hmm. I missed out on planting leeks earlier in the game, and here I am in trouble, right? So this person gets really mad because I was <laughs> not able to fulfill sure. um, their orders. Okay, that's me. That's you? Okay. <laughs> oh, this one should have been cleared off uh, going into this. Okay. So let's just... So I've already divvied, so let's go ahead and do leek and wheat for mm -hmm. five, and then uh, wheat and cabbage for six, so 11 total. Nice. Here you go. Yeah, and then so I need fourteen total. Okay, I'll be able to do. It. I'll be able to go twice. You can go twice. I will be able to go twice. You know what? I want to clear this out, so I'm gonna exchange a turnip for the pumpkin. Oh, okay. And I'd like this to go away. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So just less market stalls. I was thinking about that. I was thinking if I'm gonna take your leak, it's gonna help you, but I really need yeah. it. Yeah. So less market stalls, and then now if I want to do a uh, a two pack, it's mm -hmm. now two instead of a. Uh, Anything more? I just I just don't know what I'm gonna get in this two pack. Mm. Now you're gonna plant this pumpkin, seeing as you have so many open fields. Uh, you know, I might as well. Like, the, it just hanging out means nothing, so I might as well. So let's go ahead and just plant it. Uh, let's plant it here. So I'll make it six. Okay. I have no idea if this is anything. Good. I'm good. I have all six right now. Yeah. Okay. Done. Yeah. Yeah. We we are not finding any reason <laughs> to to flip over our storehouse, by the way, no, because. See, I feel like more advanced players are probably doing that and then having leftover vegetables so that they can fulfill the casual customers. I don't know. I never see an opportunity to do it. Yeah, it's hard. <laughs> I feel like I'm grinding. It's really hard. Yeah. So, all right. So let's pay for our path of prosperity. I only have 13. Okay. I'm one 
coin short, so I'm just going up one, unfortunately. Okay, so I'm going to pay uh, one. So it's one. Mm -hmm. So Sorry, it's one plus the 14, so it's actually 15 that I have to pay. Okay. So 13 is one, and then the 14. Wow. There you go. That was quite the process. Yeah, sorry, <laughs> math. Uh, All right. We're moving into the penultimate round. Um, two rounds left. Things are getting tight, and this is the tight. last time that we're revealing a new field because, of course, there's no point in revealing a field in the last round. You're not gonna, you can't yeah. reap the benefits of that. So. That's right. All right. All right. So, what is what your is final it? field? It's a three. Mine's a square. Yeah. I fortunately got in on my my leak um, field when I could. Nice. So, pluck these off. Yeah, All right. I'll be so able I've got to take care of these people. Five vegetables this time around. All right, so uh, this comes off. Okay. This one comes off. This one goes out, and I don't think I ever planted here, so that's that. The tribute cards. Let's shuffle those in. I really, really need. What you need? I don't know. <laughs> I don't quite know. Am I? I maybe I need a specific um, helper. I need somebody who's going to help me gain more bang for my buck. Okay. For my customers, or just help me get vegetables for cheap. <laughs> that would be great. That, yeah. I have no idea what I'm going to do on this next one. All right, so I'm going first, and I'm going to play the messenger boy because I know that neither of us are in the position to utilize his services. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. You can deliver twice to any or each of your regular customers in this action phase. Yeah, I've never right. been able to use this. Can we card. even deliver once? No. Is the question. All right, let's expose right. one. Okay. All right. Oh, a five field. <laughs> no. Uh, let's do a, uh, a regular customer. So we continue and okay, pumpkin, pumpkin and turnip. I mean, regular customers aren't so bad, but it, I guess it would be better to just kind of focus. You know, as much as I was making fun of, of uh, tossing the messenger boy, I think I'm actually going to take the you messenger can do, boy. You can double deliver? You can, but it might be good for the last round, right? If you just have like these vegetables and so instead of taking additional cards. So you're calling it. This is your, this is it. Oh, well, yes, yes, yeah, I'm dropping it. out. Yeah. I'm dropping out. So that is the helper from the uh, courtyard. And then I'm going to keep, and I'm going to keep the, the trader again. So this is the one that lets me use your market stalls. I really like that. Terrible. So there's a wheat wheat casual customer and mm -hmm. then the maid. So this is the one that lets you exchange one vegetable in uh, the stalls that require two. And that's it. I'm one out. in the stalls that require two. That's, oh, look, the wheat wheat is back. Like here, if you were to that. utilize um, yeah. that helper, this would only cost one vegetable. Mm -hmm. But I would need a... Uh trader to do that <laughs> so let's go ahead and flip up something useful ah okay i do not want to pick up any more customers because of the ratio of these going to be are, are going to be off so yeah i'm going to discard these i'm going to take the trader which mm -hmm. allows me to trade into your stalls and the maid and i'm just going to stack them up right over here nice <laughs> not the best thing we're not buying any more uh two packs i suppose right uh uh -huh, maybe you can always discard these uh, as you as you please. Yes. And these will get. Uh, and if you've uh, noticed that the trader seems to be popping up a lot, it's because there are three copies uh, of yeah. of this helper. Mm -hmm. Everybody else is unique except for the trader. Yep. So, all right, starting with you. Uh, me. Okay. So I've already kind of divvied here. So we're gonna do. Oh, wait. Before I do that, I I want to do this one here. So it's gonna be wheat and leeks for six. Okay. Very okay, good. and then before I satisfy this one, I want to satisfy, thank you, mm -hmm. I want to satisfy this one to get the better exchange. Yeah, the Might 11. Well. The way I see it is I can net about three uh, three bucks here. So um, I have the shopper, and this one says buy one vegetable from the supply, not from the shop, yep. and it costs two less. So uh, I'm going to buy a uh, turnip for, um, for three. three. Nice. Okay, there's three. Very so good. I buy the turnip from here. From the supply. Yeah, from yes. the supply. So that's right. one, two. And the shopper goes out. Nice. And then uh, I'm going to buy cabbage for five. Oh, okay. Okay. That's expensive. So yeah, expensive. Okay. So it's going to be all three of these now, though, go out. So now I, um, I spent a total of eight yeah. to get 11. It's something. Uh, it is something. It's still net. It's still right? net. And because I don't have fields coming in that are just going to be able to do anything here. So I netted three. It's something. It is something. Okay, I've been, definitely been like one coin short yeah. throughout the game. So that's And then here we go. Let's something. just satisfy this uh, customer for another seven. Okay. And that, that'll be me. So this one's completely done. She is four rounds happy. Well, you've been, you fulfilled your, My your share. orders quite well. Yeah. yeah. So good job. Here we go. And then put that out. Oh, I oh sorry. <laughs>
Okay, and that's going to be it for me. All right. Yeah. So uh, back to me. I'm just going to fulfill some of my orders here. Um, for, so I'm going to do this one first. Okay. And it's going to be the cabbage and leek. So that's nine coins. Okay. So I'm going to take the 10, give back one, and then this customer is done. So we have fulfilled um, their orders. Very good. There you go. Very, very good. Thank you. And then I do have some vegetables left over here. And so first I'm going to satisfy um, this person's order yeah. for five. Don't want to mess that one up. No. Yeah. <laughs> They're already mad. Yeah. And then uh, instead of planting the cabbage, I'm going to plant another pumpkin because I don't have pumpkin available in my shop. Mm -hmm. And I might want to fulfill this order twice next round because I do have that um, the messenger boy. Messenger boy. So, and I think that would be it because I don't have any more vegetables. Yep, that's it. I'm done. Cool. So let's go ahead and pay. So I'm going to pay one to move on to the 13. And then I can do, how much money do I have here? I have, I have 25. And I can only afford to move up to the 14 because unfortunately I am about four coins short or oh, so. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So here's 15. And I'll take back one. All right. But no loan. All no right. loan. Although that was probably a detriment. If you if you time the loan properly, you can go further in this game mm -hmm. than where we're going right now. Yeah. But that's okay. to you. So first one is one. And then to get to 16 is 5, 10, 15, 16. So here's 17 total. Nice. You're and at 16. 16. Oh my gosh. It's going to be so hard to I catch up loan, with that. Though. I have a loan and I don't have anybody to really give things to. <laughs> so that's me. Well, <laughs> we are entering our final round. There is no new field this time. So right. we are only going to take vegetables pluck, pluck. from our fields. Really, you don't need any of these fields anymore. Yeah, your home yeah. field should definitely be going out. Should, everything should just go out. And for the final time, would you care to, to shuffle the cards? Let's do it. Thank you for being our, our game Designated shuffler. Designated shuffler. <laughs> okay. All right, we got to deal these cards out. Final time, Naveen. Oh my gosh. I'm actually not feeling too good about this. I don't know. That's, that's some bad stuff I'm seeing. Some stress. Okay, so I'm gonna discard. I'm gonna discard this uh, tenant farmer. This is the one that allows you to kind of manipulate your fields. Oh That's yeah, definitely, definitely not not uh, not happening. It's a goner. We don't even have any more fields. Yeah, no. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and draw. Okay. Uh, so, hey, that's not bad. This would be a good time to just take uh, two regular customers and then use them for the ratio mm -hmm. of fulfilling your your casual customers. You know what? I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna drop out. You're out. Yeah, this early. Great. <laughs> <laughs> Shoot. Push your hand, big time. All right, I'm gonna take this uh, the regular customer. Okay. Because it's true, you, there's no real penalty, and they do improve your ratio. I'm hoping that maybe I can get another one because I do have the official that I'm gonna hold on oh, to. Oh, you got Let the official. Let me um, take a two pack for oh, free. Oh, what a good card to have twice but, in the game. Naveen, you have this casual customer no, here. No, no, no. You I also don't. have the market crier which lets you refill your market stalls, or Terrible. you can sell up to three vegetables from your market stalls back to your shop, but you have to have space for them, and you can only do it for a maximum of three coins. I don't have space for any of these. Oh, this one right here, I guess. And then this one you aren't going to be able to use, because this allows you to uh, take a vegetable from one of my fields, but it has to have at least four. Eef. All right, let's uh, let's <laughs> flip this up. Come on. On that note. <laughs> Ooh, what is this one? Oh, the plowman. This is the one that lets you either return all the vegetables from your field and replant, which is useless. Useless. Or you can immediately harvest vegetables from like these two fields and have mm. exactly one. That would have been fantastic for me. Ah, oh, none of these are very good. I mean, the market car is the only one that basically gets me a buck. So I'm just going to discard these two. I'll take the market crier and okay. then this one right here. Okay. That's me. All right, so you are going to go first in our final uh, action phase, yeah. Naveen. Which is not even good because I have the con man, which I still haven't been able to use because I keep being the last one to drop out. Okay, so uh, let's go ahead and deliver to this one here. Okay. So it's seven, please. So they're happy. There you yes. go. So they're set. Yeah. Okay, seven. All right, and then... Uh, the market crier. Let's go ahead and use them. So the market crier says, um, refill all my stalls with vegetables or sell one to three vegetables from your market stalls uh, back here to the shop. So I'm just going to sell this one okay. right there uh, for a buck. All right. Might as well. There you go. $1. And also your market stall gets to, you can discard it. Just go bye-bye. Yep. Okay. So that is another buck for me. And then 
<laughs> is there anything else to do? Because I don't think uh, satisfying this makes any sense for me right now. All right, final turn. I gotta make something. I gotta make something happen. So let's try. Let's start with the official. Because okay. I can take a two pack for free. All right, here we go. Oh, I see a helper. Okay, that's probably not happening. Good. But I have the <laughs> the saleswoman. Oh. That's to turn your thing upside down. Yes. I'm gonna what take the saleswoman. Did you get a good draw? I I got one one good draw, because the saleswoman is gonna allow me to to sell, to uh, deliver to my casual customers at the plus two bonus, regardless uh, of how many regular customers that's I more have. Money so to you. just for this round. When I deliver, I can ignore that ratio rule. First, I'm going to turn in uh, my leek, since I no longer need it, for this uh, grain or wheat. I keep calling it a grain. Mm -hmm. And it's technically a grain. This card gets discarded. Thank you. Mm -hmm. And then I think I'm going to use, I'm going to utilize the messenger boy because this is a card that I kind of, you know, discarded earlier as not being useful, but it's actually very useful right now because I can deliver twice to any or each of my regular customers. So it's just gonna be this one really. And I do, you just place basically two sets of vegetables there and you get the money twice. Mm. So this one goes out mm -hmm. and it's gonna be <laughs> the pumpkin, no, the pumpkin like wheat, this. pumpkin wheat, pumpkin wheat. So that's gonna be 10, 10 money. Mm -hmm. And now they've been fulfilled. And I'm not going to be able to fulfill this person's orders. So that's okay, they're a little bit upset. We're closing soon. <laughs> mm -hmm. And then I think I'm gonna have to purchase yeah, I think I'm gonna have to buy a wheat in order to fulfill this customer's orders. So that's gonna cost three. Here's five, I'll take back two. And I'm gonna go ahead and strip this one off. And then with my uh, my helper over here, the saleswoman, Terrible. she allows me to, to, to deliver to this, to any of my casual customers really for that bonus of two, plus two. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Finally, I wanted to at least deliver to one of my casual customers. They've been waiting the entire game. The I entire game. I can't believe you got that card. What for the a promise card. of nothing, right? Yeah. So here we go. I'm delivering to <laughs> you and I get 11 because the base price oh. is nine. This is brutal. So, <laughs> so there's 11 and this customer is finally um, satisfied. They can okay. go about their day. I think I think that's it. I, oh I don't gosh. think I can do anything else. Neither of these two helpers will be helpful. Oh man, that money. <laughs> that's it. Oh so no. So we're at the end of the game and we're going to do our final um, purchasing of the prosperity track. Okay. So I'm going to go one step to the 15 for one coin. And then I have, I have 28 coins left. So I cannot move up two steps. I can only move up to the 16. And so here is... 16. Oh. Not sounding good. I have one to go to 17. But because I have a loan, I have to go down back to 16. And I have 11 money left over to Monique's 12. <laughs> so Monique has won by the tiebreaker of having more money in hand. Oh my oh. gosh. One coin. Oh. Wow. All my work. Amazing. I shouldn't have taken some of those uh, two packs. And if that was a little bit unclear, at the very, very end of the game, everybody, once you're done paying, because I think you couldn't pay the... Yeah, I couldn't pay the extra 18. Then once you're yeah. all done with paying, then anybody who has loans just moves back a step for every single loan that you have, because you can't pay these back technically. Mm -hmm. And then that's your final score. If there were a tie, it would go down to money. And that's why uh, there's some pain. Monique room. had 12 bucks I to my 11 at the very end. Oh, that's, wow. I can't believe it came down to a coin. <laughs> to be fair, though, had we been uh, tied, 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 then it would have been whoever has the most leftover um, vegetables Resources, in yeah. your fields and in your storehouse. Mm -hmm. So I do still also have a lot of vegetables, which means, <laughs> yes. uh, does it mean I'm wasteful? Maybe that means I'm a little bit wasteful. Maybe, yeah. yeah. I didn't time the vegetables right. Mm -hmm. But that's it. That is the end of the game. We well have both reached done. 16 on 16. the prosperity track which I feel like we always kind of end up a little bit like in that vague area. Yeah, which I, last I feel time like I played was normal. 16. Yeah, and the time before that was also 16. So. Can't seem to crack it. Can't yeah. seem to get to that, that 20. No, it's yeah, 20, so I, hard. I, don't, I don't know how you get to 20. I'm sure there's a way, but. Every time I, I, we sit down to this, I feel like, okay, yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to find a way to just like have a ton of vegetables and just like really fulfill these orders. You can't. It's so hard. Yeah, you can't because right? you only have so many fields. Only so many yeah. fields show up with. Uh, the vegetable type 
and you never know which vegetable type, you know, or which mm-hmm. field type is going to show up. So it's like, I need leeks, but my six and five just showed up. It's like, okay, when the leeks going to come? So, yeah. yeah. And it's interesting because, <laughs> you know, you do want to take a loan. I, I'm, I'm tempted to take a loan, but you know that that will decrease your roof. Like, it, it's not impossible to hit, for you to hit 20. I had to take know? a loan at the very beginning of the game. I, you know, you, you blindly choose which uh, one of the three produce you're going you're gonna to mm-hmm. plant. I chose uh, wheat, and all my cards showed up in my hand. There was not one that required wheat. So it's like, well, I have this vegetable that's kind of mm-hmm. useless. And also, I have no market stalls to trade my one vegetable right. to go make something happen. So, all right, got to go buy it now. So, mm-hmm. yeah, so that's why I basically took a loan on, on I think it was uh, in round one. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, sometimes you just have to do it kind of like earlier on. Well, good job. Well played, yeah. Very Yay, nice. that very, is very at the nice. gates of Liang. So let's talk about it. This is our first Uve uh, back from a little bit of our holiday hiatus. Well, hiatus, yeah. And uh, our goal, you know, moving forward is to try to get at least two of these videos out per month. That would be so ideal. We can get it done. Yeah, yeah, we can get it done within the next uh, few months or so. Uh-huh. And so this is the third, or the third? The third, yeah. yeah. So this is the third in the big box Bigger box series. ones, yeah. So we did Agricola. Uh, which was all about uh, farming in a lot of different regards. There were animals. It was also quite tight. That game had a board. Each player had their own player boards and farms, really. Mm-hmm. And then we had Lahab, which was like almost a complete departure from Agricola, right? Yeah. That was more of like an economic game. You're building up a, a town. Yep. And now we have at the gates of Lahang, which is also quite different. It's almost like a semi-return to some of the stuff that you saw in Agricola, na- namely the farming. The farm, totally. The, the farming. Uh, part, yeah, yeah, the sowing and, and just the, the plowing and all that. Um, but with a, a spin, right? There's quite a different theme. You're delivering to customers in a very specific location of the world in a very specific time frame. Yes, it is uh, very uh, good, <laughs> this one. Um, I was pleasantly surprised by by this game when we first played it. So going into the Uwe Rosenberg series, Monique, I, I had not played this. Had you, had you played this no, before? No, I've only yeah. been, I've heard about it so much. And we actually yeah. had it on our shelf for a long time. Yes. And, yeah, uh, and hadn't played it. And going into this, I was like... Uh, I, I remember once like hearing about it and I was like, mm-hmm. oh, I'm not very interested in it for some reason. But the first time we learned it and we 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 set it up and played it, it was very punishing at first. We were just like, <laughs> oh my gosh, I have no way to satisfy anybody. Oh Everyone's angry at me and there's nothing good on the horizon. Uh, so you definitely, I definitely needed that first game to really figure it out. And so then, we actually didn't even play a full game of it yes. because of how torturous it was. <laughs> yeah. Nadine kind of got through one round and was like, I cannot do like, this together. There's no way I can do this right now. <laughs> and I realized that, okay, you need to, you need to automate. Uh, you need to get at least two fields going mm-hmm. that can now at least feed into the, your regular customers so they can get you that income. So you can always try to move up at least the goal is at least at the very beginning to move up two. Mm-hmm. I would like to move up three spaces, you know, per round, but uh, yeah. it gets very, very difficult. Yeah, this game is extremely hard. It might be, gosh, is it, that a lot of AP. it causes us a lot of AP. When yeah, this one. definitely. Um, this game is all about taking chances, I feel. And I feel like that. Not something that I typically do in board games, especially with the newer Euros. It's a lot easier for you to kind of foresee what you want to do and then just safely go down that path. Mm -hmm. Uh, This one is not. You know, it's primarily a card game, so there's a lot of luck of the draw. But you always reshuffle the deck. So even if you do something, you know that that it can come back. And especially in higher player accounts, you can kind of count on seeing things Mm -hmm. several times. It's really interesting. It's just really, really fun because it's a lot of converting. It's it's a lot of like trying to figure out and trying to foresee, okay, what what do I think I'll need? Trying to get more bang for your buck. You're always, it's kind of like exchanging one thing for something of more value, right? Yeah, it's Constantly. Definitely, it's definitely like round one through three where you're like, I have these fields and I guess I have this vegetable. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to do with it, but hopefully I can get a market stall to start wheeling and dealing yeah. with myself. Or hopefully I can get that tradesman or the trader, then I, I can wheel and deal with Monique's thing over there and she can't do anything about it. Yeah. Which you did to me, obviously. The market sales are so interesting. They are very interesting, yeah. That, that is something that I, I really like about this game. Like, even though it is, it's primarily a card game, there are only four different types of cards. You know that half of those cards are going to be people that you're going to be needing to, to fulfill. Yep. And then the other half are going to be things that are going to help you, right? Mm-hmm. Helpers are great. Um, after you play a few games of it, you kind of memorize who the helpers are. It is good to know what, what is out there. Mm-hmm. Uh, definitely, uh, if you don't know the helpers that could be in there and how yeah. they can alter the game. The possibilities yeah. of what kind of assistance you can get, right, yeah. from the helpers. And then the market stalls are, are what really make, what really glues the game together, I think. Mm-hmm. Because without the ability to exchange one thing for something that you don't have, it's going to be like 
you're way too yeah, impossible. Because you can't just be buying all the all the the vegetables that you yeah. need. You need to be able to trade them at some point. Yes, but I do like that that is also just there, just in case. You can always make the decision to buy a vegetable that's in your shop. It's just extremely expensive, mm -hmm. yeah, you right? Because you might be spending five coins on one vegetable in order to fulfill an order that's going to get you five coins, right? Yeah. So you're constantly trying to to math out these the uh, actions that you're going to take as well as how much money you're going to need at the end of the round in order to move as far as you can yeah because I, I know there was one time where i min max i was like well i'm gonna net three here so this is the best move i got right now so yeah. i'm just gonna go for it and uh yeah as you saw at the very end the, it came it down gets, to the money yeah it's really tight i yeah. was just one coin short like uh, two rounds in a row or something yeah yeah so because of that, because of all that mathing, this game is extremely long, even yeah. at two. So that is the one thing. Like for, for me, I really, really like this game. The mm -hmm. first time we we played a full game of it, um, I I really, really enjoyed it. Mm -hmm. I, there were several times during the game that I was like, wow, this one's really fun. It mm -hmm. just has a lot of fun factor. For me, that, that exchanging of resources that you kind of tend to see um, in Uwe Rosenberg games is, is super fun. Yeah, you really do but, feel like you're farming and like you can really like feel the kind of the theme coming through where like you're planting out these vegetables and you're really trying to reap what you sow mm -hmm. so that you can satisfy these customers. And it's nice when you see it, it's like, okay, for the next four rounds, I'm good. That's good. Like that is yes. locked in. The security. And the security of the security that is security nice. that you're always looking for. Yeah. Like in this game, you're, you're, you're just constantly trying to find a, okay, I have a money-making engine. And then mm -hmm. suddenly at one point, your engine will run out because your fields will not last the entire game. Yep. And then you have to re-figure out, you know, another engine. Yeah, when you get that customer that's like, okay, this is the last time I'm going to get any money out of this customer. Uh-oh, mm -hmm. uh, I am not set up for any other passive income yeah. going on. But what I was referring to earlier is because of all that mathing, it can be very long. Yeah. And that the length of the game, when I say long, I mean like three hours. Uh, we played a three-player game of it. Was our first time playing. I think it, it went three and hours, that went like and thirty minutes. Three hours, thirty like minutes. Because there's a lot of AP. There's for a everyone. lot of, of analysis process around yeah. the table, and um, it's not just in the actions phase. It's in the. It's mainly actually in the card phase where we had a lot of that, mm -hmm. because by the time you get to your actions phase, you can kind of like. You do you get to do all your actions at once, so you don't really rely on what other people are doing for yeah. that part. I feel like you can do simultaneous action uh, at the same time. It's just um, some of the different helpers can mm -hmm. influence and, and irritate and bother what somebody else is doing. So I feel like if everybody really knows the cards and somebody has something in play, then it's like, okay, are you going to use that thing? Mm -hmm. No? Okay, then let's just all take the actions together at the same time. Mm -hmm. In terms of player count, what are your thoughts? Plays well. We've played it in two and three. I've yeah, never played it solo three. and have not played it four. We played know. one three player game. We did play one player, yeah. three player game, uh, but we've mostly played it two player. Um, it plays well, both both player counts, two and three. Uh, there's some sort of mechanism in four that there's like a, a, a teaming aspect of it, which I have no idea anything about it. Um, the way that works in a four player game is uh, when you go to during your actions phase, it's Two people get to simultaneously do theirs, and then the other two people get to do theirs. Mm -hmm. And it just has to do with whoever got whoever dropped out last, right, and right. they become the first player. At two, I still feel like you get the full experience. Um, with three, it was still fun. Uh, mm -hmm. You see more cards going out, and you can kind of uh, see other people's market stalls. And there was a lot more kind of there was a little bit more player interaction going on in that three player game. But you, I mean, you interacted with me way more than I interacted with you in this game. Yeah, I gotta say, <laughs> I I do prefer the three player game uh -huh. um, because. Because the downtime is most likely not going to be as bad as in a four-player game. Yeah. But the thing that I liked is the player interaction. You know, in a two-player game, the variant is good because mm -hmm. you can get to see more cards during the card phase. But it's a little bit more random. Whereas in a three-player game, every card that gets placed into the market, into the courtyard, sorry, is uh, on purpose. Right? Yeah. It's intentional. That's right. You're, you're, you know that you're giving that this up knowing what everybody else has. And yeah. just a table talk. Too, yeah, you know, it's a lot. It's really fun. That's actually a really good point. I didn't think about that because everybody yeah. has that now. Everybody's making decisions versus a random cards just showing mm -hmm. up. It's like, oh, the saleswoman's there. Okay, great. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna take that. It's like, well. Clearly, he would not have put out the saleswoman yeah. in this situation. Yeah, and a lot of the helpers that allow you to uh, interact with your opponents are really interesting. Like there are helpers that the con man is the con man that lets you steal. Uh, yeah, there's I a think... helper that lets you steal somebody else's helper. Yeah, or there's one that lets you steal somebody's market stall, or just like trading from other people's market stalls. It's just a lot more interesting when there's a third yeah. player. Yeah, yeah, I've realized the con man. You can only use it when somebody else has gone first. So I I found myself being first player a bunch. Mm -hmm. So 
I could never actually really use it. Yeah. And uh, in a three-player game, you may most likely not be first all the time. Mm -hmm. so. In terms of heaviness, I really like how clean this design is. You know, it's, it's just nine rounds, it's three phases per round. Mm -hmm. And you pretty much just rinse and repeat. For that reason, I feel like it's a lot more accessible than something like Agricola, although there is, you know, Agricola is not too bad either. These games, yeah. so for the most part, have been pretty accessible, but for this one, this one is just a lot more elegant, I yes. feel. And it's very easy to set up. <laughs> That's I do appreciate yes. that about uh, about game. And that's pretty much it. We talked. Yeah. We pretty much talked about the mechanics on the the front end of this. So, what are your what are your overall thoughts on yeah. this game? Uh, ooh, it's it's a uh, very good and <laughs> it's very challenging for me. Mm -hmm, uh, really just the, the the planning of what you have to do, but also the luck of the draw uh, as part of it, it. It does make it a fun experience. Um, I do find that at the beginning of the game, not knowing exactly what cards you're going to have to make that decision oh, yeah. as to what uh, vegetable to plant can set you a little bit back. And so I, I've heard of some house rules where everybody gets to see their hand before they make the decision, uh, right. but you still follow the rule of only two people can have the same exact type of vegetable, which I think is fair. Yeah. Um, but, so, but then again, there could be a problem where, uh, which we discussed with one of our friends, if you see your cards and you have nothing that shows fields, then now everybody else has information about what they have. They really have a leg up because now you're kind of just shooting in the dark yeah. and they do have a, a an educated decision to make right. there. So um, so I don't, I don't know how you would fix that. I'm not well, exactly what sure. What we've done um, in the past is you can like, in a two player game, you can just draw the top eight cards. Both of us see it and then shuffle the top eight. And so you know what the possibilities are. So you can try to make an educated make guess. Decision, yeah. Uh, it's better than shooting in the dark, but it's yeah. also not perfect information. Right, right. Um, but either way, yeah. it's it's up to you what kind of game you want to have. The rules, the way that it's written is no information at all. You you shoot in the dark. Otherwise, I really, really like this game. And mm -hmm. this, you know, playing this one and Lahav, those are two that were new to us. Yep. Uh, it's really making me look forward to the rest of the series. Yeah. You know, we it's kind of opened our eyes to the amount of Uwe Rosenberg games we hadn't played mm -hmm. before embarking on this. And oh my gosh, he's a brilliant designer. <laughs> it's good right? to know that there's more that we've also haven't played that's like, wow, well, I've heard of that game for yeah. so long, now it's time to play it. These games came out once a year. Yeah. So unfortunately, you know, like we mentioned at the very beginning of the video, um, this is but this was published from TMG here in the who, US, here in the US yeah. who might may no longer be um, releasing games. And so this may be hard to find. But uh, we, we do often see this sometimes circulating around the secondhand market. Mm -hmm. Anyway, that was At the Gates of Liang. Thank you so much for sticking around for our Uwe Rosenberg series so far. Mm -hmm. uh, I believe the next title is going to be Mercator. Mercator. Which we hope Another to... one that we had not played before. Yes. Mm -hmm. And it was one that we actually weren't even going to include in our series, um, except uh, Daniel from the game table on Instagram. Uh, lent us his copy because he says that it is one of the most that is not like the others. Mm -hmm. So we'll see what... We'll see how that goes. And hopefully yeah. that, that can come out in a couple of weeks. So if you do want to follow along on the rest of our Uwe Rosenberg series or any of the videos that we make, uh, feel free to subscribe. There's also a playlist for all the different videos in the Uwe Rosenberg series and all the different videos to come. So thank you so much. Bye. Bye.